Yeah, happy Halloween. I know. Look, me in black shirt. Jay on the floor picking up the doll that was supposed to dance for a little bit longer than that. No Christmas decorations today, just Halloween. I've done this. Black shirt and this. Joy made this. Oh, Joy got this for me. Um, that's it. That's my... That's as far as I go with Halloween. How are you? Uh, oh, I've got so much to show you. What should I show you first? Today's menu. Let's do the menu. No tricks, all treats, it's called today. Here it is. Coming up today, we've got uh, treats under £10. That's all, everything I'm going to show you in the first hour. Everything's under £10. Now, I wasn't going to talk about Christmas Day, but brilliant for Christmas presents, stocking fillers and secret Santas. Then at nine o'clock, uh, we've got Jennifer Mills uh, doing the classic plaid dress. A classic plaid dress. Ten o'clock. Bargaining bundles. Now I've got bundles. And, oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you yet. You get a pe yeah, you get half a metre for free. You get half a metre for free. For each bundle, what's that, Hannah? And then 11 o'clock, Tilda Purses. So, uh, that's Jennifer back making Tilda Purses. Now, before we go any further, I'd normally go on and on about the website at this point, but I've got something to tell you. There is a special, two days only, today and tomorrow, it finishes at midnight tomorrow night, Halloween Spend and Save. Now, before you cut to any screens or anything like that, I need to tell you, it's not on anything you see on the telly, it's not on electricals, it's not on sales, and it's not on kits. Kits, right? But if you go to our website, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, have a look at this. We've got Halloween Spend and Save. What you do is you choose what you're buying. It's only from the web shop. It's nothing that's been on the television uh, during the day in the last 24 hours. It's nothing that's been on the television, right? Until tomorrow night. So does that mean, what, what happens if it's on the telly today? Oh, I'd, we'll have to find that one out. Anyway, what you need to do is you need to go to the website, you see, and if you spend £35, you get 15% off. And what, when, you come to, when you come to sign out at the end, you literally have to put that code in, SQ15, to get your 15% off. If you spend £50 or more, you'll get 25% off. Or spend £60 or more, you get 35 percent percent off but you do have to enter that code okay so that's the halloween spend and save uh, terms and conditions are on the website i think there's something wrong with my earpiece today uh that, there's the website there we go that's the website now that's a uh, terms and conditions now you'll find the terms and conditions at the bottom of the front page don't they that's where the terms and conditions are kept oh, so should we see if they're there Terms and conditions, there you go. Just click on there and tell you all the terms and conditions about the Halloween spend and save. I think that's everything I had to say. Oh, there you go. It's today and tomorrow uh, until midnight tomorrow. Oh, now, the, the, the thing you must, 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 must remember is it's only things from the web shop. Nothing that's been on the telly, nothing, and, and you can't do electrals, can't do kits, and you can't do anything that's in the sale. Right. Uh, but talking to the website, we'd like you to get in touch, and this is how you can do it. You can go to the website, www.sayingcourse.com, click on a Watch Today's Show, and then what you need to do is uh, just... Oh, you see on the right-hand side there? Uh, are we not logged? Oh, yes, we are logged in. There's the box there. Uh, what you need to do is uh, write your message there. Keep it short, like a, like a Twitter message. Uh, only because, hello John, happy Halloween. Only because uh, it, cut, cut, it gets cut off, it gets cut off half, gets cut off halfway through. Um, and then what you also need to do from the website, you see where it says Projects of the Day Show? Now, normally I say there's all yesterdays, but they've all gone already. So as I introduce kits or bundles or anything in the under £10, pound, it will appear there. And so if you're watching later on or if you watch come in later or you just want to watch the show and then go and buy afterwards, all the products from today's show will be there until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can click on them and pop them in your basket. Talk about popping them in your basket. You can... Uh, you see, now, it, it's not showing it today. You see where it says add to basket? There's normally a square there with a picture in it, isn't it? Um, I don't know what it's saying, because it's saying there, product images, descriptions... Anyway, it will appear there. We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. You just click on there and add to your basket. You can check out your basket as many times as you like during the day, So especially in this first hour, where you see lots and lots of different things all under £10. If you want to make sure you're going to get it, or if I'm telling you stocks are running low, then uh, check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. You can check out as many times as you like, because you only get charged one PMP for the whole day of £2.95. Uh, now... If you've got any pictures of you in your Halloween outfit for tonight, if you've got any other pictures you want to send in, then you send them to studio 
at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Um, right, I just need Jay to switch the heating off because I'm standing in a sauna. Uh, studio at sewingquarter.com, that's your email. Right, okay. Shall we come back to me? Yep, yeah, eventually. There we go. Timothy's not in a very good mood today, everybody. Not, no, he's normally quite chirpy, Timothy, the director today. But he's not, he's like really like, like that. I said, don't you like Halloween, Timothy? Like you don't like Christmas? He said, I do like Christmas. Anyway, we'll stop there, because he's not replying, he's not responding, he's just staying totally silent in my earpiece. Treats under £10? Oh, we're going to start with Thread Magic. Just back in time, I haven't even seen this. I've never, I've seen it before, obviously, in real life, but I've never seen it before. And it's got Halloween-y magic, isn't it? It's called the Threadjig... A Threadjig. <laughs> That's a good start, isn't it? A Thread Magic Round. Right? Um, it's like, you know... You, uh, hang on. Can you keep talking to me? OK. It's, you know, like, if you're old-fashioned like me, you use beeswax, right? But I'll just show you. This is the equivalent, modern-day equivalent. Look, you see? You've got your, um... Now, what is, what is it in there? You can have a look at that. I'll just, um... That's the inside, you see, there. It, you use... Uh, you've got 400% less thread drag, 400% less hand fatigue, strengthens thread, thread for long life, eliminates static, prevents tangling and fraying, does not melt or freeze, and it's safe for, safe for all threads. Um, now, you can either use it for hand sewing, where you pull your... Hang on. Where you, what you do is you just pull your thread through like that. See, and it just coats the thread. So it's a bit like beeswax, but it's not quite as thick as beeswax. But what I didn't know was you can use it for your bobbin thread as well. You literally, while you're... You know when you, you thread your bobbin on the top of the machine? Uh, can you see it? I don't know if you... Can you see it there? Can you see it there? So you can, you can put it in the... So you put it... There's your bobbin thread going round. Isn't it brilliant? Or, look at this on the back here. You can actually attach the cube to the machine. So your top thread can go through it as well. That is magic. £8.45. That's lovely. Now, it won't... It is not a toy. It's not intended for children under 15. Yes. Isn't that fantastic? The one on their picture on the back is square. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm taking it back. Take it back. You can't attach this one to your machine, but you, it says on the back you can buy a square one that you can attach to your machine. Anyway, but you can do your bobbin with that one. That's fantastic. How much is it? Is that? Eight, eight pounds 45. Eight pounds and 45 pence. Hypoallergenic as well. So that'd be good for Hannah. She's got the sneezes today. She's got the sneezes. Anyway, that's my thread magic. Everything is ours under 10 pounds, remember. If you've got any messages, Get them in. If you've got any pictures of you in your Halloween outfit, get them in. Uh, all pictures have to go... Um, you can't web chat a picture in. You can only um, email a picture in. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Right then, Hannah, where would you like to go next? Magnetic pincushion. We love this, because this has so many other... I'll just... Oh, I've dropped my pins. So many other um, uses as well. But look, so start off... You dropped all your pins. You think, oh, how am I going to pick those up in my carpet? Janice has got one of these, right? Um, oh, now, I can't say, but a friend of ours has bought one of these for his mum for Christmas. Hannah has also... Hannah's mum got one from her neighbour for last Christmas. They're brilliant, aren't they? Four, four, £4.45. Oh, no, I'm not. There you go. They've all gone. Those are a little glitter on the table from yesterday. Um, it's like a magnetic... Pin cushion for four pounds and forty-five pence, and do you know what? Um, brilliant as a well, they're all brilliant as so stocking fillers or, or uh, secret centres. But if also you've got somebody who doesn't do sewing but works in an office, you can put your paper clips on there. You can put your drawing pins on there. You can use it for all sorts of different things like that because it's just a magnetic pin cushion at four pounds and forty-five pence. What else could you put on there? What you could do, I suppose, you could buy lots of ball bearings. And you can make a, a toy, you know, like the toys, the clicky-clacky ball toys. You can make one a bit like that. Well, you couldn't do click-clacky balls, but you could do, you know, when you can make shapes out of ball bearings. OK, I've never heard of that one. You get all the dolphins and you stack dolphins up. I've never heard of that one. No. 
Okay, so that's your magnetic pin, prim magnetic pin cushion, four pounds and 45 pence, right? Right. Oh, I don't mind, you tell me, you're the producer. Right, oh, before I go to iron cleaner, no, I will do the iron cleaner, but I've got an announcement to make about the thing after the iron cleaner, which is the prim tweezers with magnifying glass. I've got an announcement to make. Um, I'm ever so sorry. Yeah, we'll have to. Right, so I've, I've, I've blown air through it as well this morning. It just doesn't seem to be working. This is like a really old fashioned, I've, I've been using this since I started saying donkeys years ago. The iron cleaner, two pounds and 95 pence. Uh, now what it is, is um, it comes, this is how it comes in your part. It, you take, it's like an old fashioned lipstick. Like you pull that out there, oh, at least I've got a new one this time. You heat your iron up. In fact, let me get the iron out and I'll show you. I'm not gonna, it's not on, it's not on. It's not on, it's not on. Oh, hang on. So you heat the iron up, that iron's obviously cold. And then what you do is you make sure you've put something underneath uh, the iron so that it, it actually, because it's going to drip, it's going to put brown gunk on and it's going to drip. But you literally just put that onto there. Do it vent in a well-ventilated space, only because it does make a really, really, really bad pong. Makes a really, really dreadful pong. Um, and basically, it'll take all the gunk off the bottom of your iron. Then you need to just wipe the iron down with a damp cloth. And it's, hey, presto, like that. Two pounds, thank you. Two pounds and 95 pence. Fabuloso. Very useful. And because uh, how many times you're ironing and either the dressing off a fabric comes off, or you just use an iron every day, every day, every day, get that brown sort of stain on it. It's fantastic. But as I say, do use it in a um, well ventilated space because uh, it does pong. It does pong. Right now, I've got an apology. I've got an apology to make, right? When I had this on Lucy's show on Sunday, did we do the handbag on Sunday? Yeah, right. We said there were only uh, we said there are only three of these left, and they, they, it was discontinued. It is discontinued, but there weren't. The reason we only had three on Sunday was because they put however I don't know how many we've got in today's show. They put them into today's show. So I met, now I've, I've still only I've not got that many. I've not got that many. So if you want these, <clears throat> Lucy said she adores these. But I did say on Sunday, we only had three left in the company. There weren't three left all because they'd stashed these few from for today's show already to one side. But it is a discontinued range. So we won't be getting it again. It's fantastic, look, because what you get... Can you see that? It's a magnifying glass, look. Ooh. Well, that's good for Halloween, isn't it? Uh, so you get the, the, the magnifying glass, but it's got tweezers attached to it, look. Uh, no, Hannah. Right, Hannah's just said, oh, I need this. Oh, look, I've got a week. Um, I need this because I've got to do my eyebrows with. I don't know, Hannah, I'm just going to stand up, how you're going to be able to look and do your, do your eyebrow. That's a bit like licking your elbow, isn't it? Nobody can lick their elbow. So if she's doing it on her flatmate, Karen, no, because then the, then the magnifying glass is the wrong way. Oh, no, no, that is right, that is right, that is right, that is right, that is right. So you can pluck... I'm not suggesting you pluck other people's eyebrows with it. I'm suggesting you pick up beads and stitches with it. But at £5.45, but it is discontinued once they've all gone. So I just wanted to get that out there, because didn't, we didn't know on Sunday. Uh, Lorraine! Lorraine, it was Lorraine's birthday yesterday. She was 61. I wasn't supposed to tell you that much. Oh! Where did Lorraine's message go? Where did Lorraine's... I'll start... OK, uh, Marie says she's looking very bad today. Love the shirt, Marie in Cornwall. Halloween, isn't it, you see? And then what does Lorraine have to say? Thread magic and the prim magnetic are brilliant. Saves the pain as hubby always standing on them. Well, Lorraine, you should pick them up after you finish, shouldn't you? Oh, She had a fabulous birthday. She did have a fabulous birthday. Right. Now, talking about um, uh, magnetic, should we go to magnetic next? Now, I don't know how I'm going to show you this. I'll show you, the, I'll show you the thing first.
It's a magnetic seam guide. Now, you must be looking at it thinking, what on earth is that, John? What on earth is that? There you go. Somebody just said, what on earth is that, John? £3.95. £3.95, right? Now, this is the way it works. And now, this is where I don't know how you're going to see it, because I need the sewing machine to be in the right place where we normally sew. OK, I'll let them just give them a chance to get there. What you do is it's this little um, device. I need a tape measure. I'm, I'll, I'll wait for you to put the shot on. There we go. Oh. The upstairs camera's playing up, sorry. Yeah, you can't be able to see it from there, though. I'll come back to that until when the camera's fixed. OK, I'll get that fixed, I'll get that fixed. We'll go to somewhere else first. Sorry about that, upstairs camera's playing up. What's next? Fray check. Now, this is fantastic. Um, if you've got a fraying fabric, if you've got to cut something off, and you just need to dab, and you can use this on jersey lot. Uh, Amanda White uses this on her jersey lot. You literally just drop a tiny, tiny drop at the end of a seam, or tiny drop on the seam allowance, just stops fraying like a little... It's like glue, but it doesn't dry like glue or anything like that. OK, how much is it? Sorry, we're having technical issues today, obviously. Oh, dear. Should we just go home? It's Halloween, you see. The gremlins have got into the system. £5.45 it is. Mind you, at the moment, you're, you're, the only way you can buy that is ringing the call centre at the moment because uh, there's something wrong with the graphics, so it won't appear underneath me on the uh, thing. OK? I'm going to do this storage box now. So, well, is it stopped working completely or we're all right? We love this. Oh, now I need to rip the um, paper off this one. Look, so it's a storage box. But it was, I had a big of, oh, now, um, Reva. Reva, like the bigger one of these yesterday, we've got a smaller one now. We've got a smaller one of these now. So let me just tip that over like that. So. What it is, is you get this box, which has got three compartments in it. So you want to carry your scissors, your rulers, the rotary cutters around, for example, par exemple. You're going off to a class and you want to take a few bits and bobs with you. They'll all fit in there nicely. Ignore this bit of paper on the bottom there. There we go. Um, right, but if you, like, do bead making or jewellery making or, um, like, we had the Swarovski crystals in the other day, you get loads of these, look, loads of these dividers... You can then create smaller... Now, of course, I haven't got my glasses on. Where's the Halloween hat and your broomstick, John? You cheeky man. So you literally just slide those in to create your dividers. Like that. So if you're doing beadwork or you've got lots of little buttons or something like that, or gems or Shrovsky crystals like we had yesterday... Or was it the day before now? And all the days are running into one. Sorry, I'm doing this, just need to concentrate. There you go, there you go. I couldn't see from the side. There you go. £3.95. £3.95. Now, the other thing is, is they, they do say on the packet here, nuts and bolts, uh, sewing equipment like pins and, so, and um, safety pins, uh, office for your pins, your paper clips, or fishing. If you're going fishing and you, have, you go fishing, you put all your different... Um, what are those things called? Hooks and um, floats. Floats, that's the word I was thinking of. I wouldn't put your maggots in there. Personally. Personally, I wouldn't put your maggots there. Oh, OK. Um, Alison sent in a picture of her daughter in a Halloween costume. She, she wants to go save your Barry from Life on, Bars, Life on Mars video. Oh, I saw this on, uh, on Facebook. Right, now, she's looking for an excuse to wear it again. Can I just tell you as well? That's brilliant. That's, who's that, sorry? Alison, that's right, Alison, right? Alison, can I just tell you, 
My friend Sandy Powell, who's won about 10 Oscars for costume design, she's a huge David Bowie fan. And last year's Oscars, she had a suit made identical to that, but in the same colour, but shiny, shiny fabric. And she's got bright red hair that she sweeps back really, really short, dyed, obviously. Um, and she looked incredible. She looked absolutely amazing, absolutely stunning. And that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Thank you for that. By the box, while well, you're there. Next. Oh, no, should we go back to the mag... Let's do the magnetic. There it is. Right, so that's what it looks like in the packet. The Prim Magnetic Seam Guide, right? £3.95. pence. It's such a simple idea, but it's brilliant, right? So let's go to uh, the uh, camera. OK, what you do is you go... So if you, you know on the machine here, it's got one-eighths... One-eighths... Half an inch, three eight, you know, all the different sides. But maybe you want to do an echo line, or maybe you want to do a line of stitching, or you want to do a much bigger seam lines. Well, you can get this. It's magnetised, so it sits on your machine there, and it magnetises to either, if your machine's metal, you can do it like that, or just the foot there. And then what you can do is you measure... I'll just come in from the side here. From your needle... So say you wanted an inch, you wanted to seam lines of an inch, or you wanted to draw lines that were an inch apart, you'd me measure up where your needle is there, and then you just put your magnetic seam guide there. You see, an inch away. And then you know that when you're sewing, if you keep your... Because it's sturdy, look, it's sturdy. You keep your fabric against that edge there, then you know that you're sewing an inch away from there. It's just brilliant. It's, apt, it's so simple, <clears throat> but it's brilliant. Now, the only thing the manufacturers say, if you've got a digital machine, it's, you can use it, you can use it, but don't be... It's like don't put your watch, don't put your phone next to keys, don't put your phone next to um, anything digital. If you put a magnet next to it, it can play up with the digitisation. Um, so just be careful of that if you've got a digital machine. But, but we've got we've got digital machines. This is a digital machine. It's all fine. So don't worry about it at all. Don't worry about it. But it's absolutely brilliant. Morning, John. I've got one of those seam guides. They're brilliant. Love watching the show from Jackie in South Yorkshire. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Jackie, for that. <coughs> right, you wanted to go to freezer paper. Oh, I've got the open one for some reason. Now, last time I did this, I sliced my finger open, didn't I? Please be careful of the serrated edge. Right, OK, now, yours won't come like this. You will get a new one, but this is freezer paper. This is freezer paper. 12 metres you get, it's that wide, 38 centimetres wide, 13 and a half yards, £4.95. Now, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put that one away and I'll show you what you can do. It's so brilliant, this. You can wrap your sandwiches in it. You can wrap your sandwiches in it, or you put meat in the fridge in, something like that. But this here, right, let me show you. On one side, it's shiny. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. On the other side, it's matte, right? On the other side, it's matte. On that side, it's shiny. Now, this is not glue. This is not glue. But if you put it shiny side down on your fabric and iron it, It'll just stick for a little while. So what you do, if you, if you um, want, like, Mand well, I'll tell you what Mandy Shaw uses it for. So she draws, she traces from her book, because you can see through it, you can see through it like greensbury paper. She traces from her book the, the pattern, right? Then what she does is she irons that to the fabric, then she stitches on the line, with the paper still there, and then she tears this away, Gets rid of the outside bit, and then the inside bit is then uh, good as a template for something else. It's brilliant for quilting, brilliant for applique, brilliant for all sorts of crafting. But also, people use it as um, just to cover their table, like a tablecloth or something like that, if you're going to work on craft table, so if you're spilling and things like that. Because then you can just throw it away afterwards, can't you? It's £4.95 pence for the box set. Every time we bring the phrase, a freezer, freezer paper, it sells out. Every time we have a rush on the freezer paper... Hello, John. So excited. Ordered my Mega Fat Quarters pack of Kaif this morning with my 35% discount. Hurry up, Steve, the postman. She says, they won't have posted it yet, Jackie. Right, what, what I need to tell you is, can we put it back up there? We've got the special deal going on at the moment called Halloween Spend and Save, right? Not on machinery, so no electrical, nothing electrical. 
um, no kits uh, and no sale items, right? But, and it's nothing that's been on the telly. Nothing has been on the telly today, obviously today. It goes on for two days, it's today and tomorrow. What we need to find out is if it's been on the telly today, whether they come back tomorrow, but I don't think it will be. I think it'll be anything that's not been on the telly. What you need to do is when you, when you buy, if you spend 35 pounds, or more, when you get to the bottom and it asks for a code, you put in SQ15, get 15% off, 50 pounds or more, SQ25%, 25% off, or spend 60 pounds, get 35% off with the code SQ35. But it is only for items on the web. But not sewing machines, you won't be able to use it on a sewing machine or anything like that. Yeah, you won't get it on a sewing machine, you won't get it on um, uh, an iron or anything, nothing electrical. No kits and no... nothing in the sale. I thought there was another one. I thought there were four, I had to say. Terms and conditions are on the front page of the website. What was the other one, Hannah? Can you remember? Elect... Oh, yeah, nothing has been on the telly. They're the four things. But anyway, Jackie has just got a mega bundle of K-Facet Fat Quarters, which is on the website, which isn't on the telly, and she's got 35% off. How brilliant. You don't have to do anything, apart from buy something. The more you spend the more you save, that's what they say. Well, yeah, over 60 pounds. You only get, I don't, if you spend 120, you don't then get more if you still only get your 35% off. Right, let's move on, let's move on. So, a seam ripper. Now, um, one of the designers has walked off with this, the one we use in the, oh no, actually, let me just check, it's not in this. No. Someone's walked off with it. Um, Prim C, a stitch ripper, 4.95. It does what it says on the tin. It is a stitch ripper. It's a seam ripper. Ergonomic design there for your fingers. Four pounds and 95 pence. There you go, look. Red dot design winner, 2010. Ergonomically, I think that'll be something with ergonomics when it, the red dot. Four pounds and 95 pence for the prim stitch ripper. Oh, look, you can just see my badge flashing there. Can you see that? Right, moving on. Next. 303. This, now, this really is for crafters. This really is for crafters, this. It's permanent glue, and it's for scrapbooking cards and paper, this one. I wouldn't use this one on your fabrics. £7.95. Protect your work surface. Make sure all surfaces are clean and dry. Shake, the, shake well before use. Spray from a distance of 20 centimetres evenly on the back of the item to be positioned. Put the item on the desired location and press strongly. Please use it in a well-ventilated room. It's permanent glue. That's not the repositional one. That's the permanent one. Once it's there, it's there. OK. Right, I've got loads of buttons to show you now. These are cute. Right. No, we had heartbreaking buttons yesterday, especially for Valentine's Day. Right, where should we start? Uh, I'll show you them and you can put the graphics in. These look like um, almost Mother of... Well, is it Mother of Pearl or is it more... Palmer Violet, would you say? Oh, no, oh, almost cat's eye. Almost cat's eye. You get four buttons there by Millwood in that lovely pale lilac-y colour. You know they're going to be under £10. Oh, OK. We're having issues with those. OK, let's go on to the green ones, then. Sorry about that. Gremlins in the system again. These are the Millwood Blue Green Iridescent 17mm trim. You get all four for £1.95. Add it to your order. They're nice, aren't they? Look at that, like the iridescence on there. It almost looks like um, when you go to Anglesey, and at night time, you go down to the Menai Straits, you see iridescent, phosphorescence in the water. And that's very much what it's like. OK, so that's that one. Then I've got, like, three, like, mother of pearly ones. These are lovely, aren't they? They're not mother of pearl. They'll just be plastic. But look at, look at that. Like, iridescent. That's got an iridescence to it as well, isn't it? They're three. They just call them pearl. They just call those pearls. So that's pearlescence on the outside there. But in plastic. Oh, hang on, no, there won't be real pearls, will they? I'm just 
just going to check there. Oh, no, it doesn't say what they're made of, but I'm sure they're not real pearls. Who knows? Oh, maybe they're... Oh. I'll get Hannah to check for you later. At 2 95 Then I've got four... Sparkly ones. Again, by Millwoods. They've kind of got like a watermark, like a moire on them, though, haven't they? They're called um, semi-plain. <laughs> Either it's plain or it's not plain. You're not semi. You don't say, "Oh, that baby's semi-ugly," do you? Don't that's that baby semi-plain? It is a semi-plain button. Fifteen millimeters, four of them, and they're not white either. Okay, and then last but not least, these are cute. These are like little globes, little orbs. I'll show you from the side. Look, they're like crystal balls. What would you say these were then? Well, they're just off centre. Do you think they originally were going to put three on there and then they decided to only put two on? Or four? No. Oh. Anyway. And what it says on all of these is the fabric could be metal, wood, shell or leather. Right? They're not leather. These are definitely... Well, no, these just must be plastic, these. I think those ones could be shell. They could be abalone shell, those ones I was thinking of earlier now. Anyway, £1.95. Uh, no, I've... No, right, OK, let's... OK, then. So where should we go now? Symbols? Oh, symbols. I thought we were going to do musical instruments, then. Now, I'm really shocked by... The amount of people who don't wear a thimble, right? I've got small, I've got medium, and I've got large. Yeah, hang on. I'm putting them all on because the large... The I'll do small first. Thimble. I think everybody should wear a thimble if they're doing hand stitching. When you... Now well, you can check the size through the whole look. It's way too small for me, that one. Um, look, it says check size through hole in back. So you'd have to take it out of its packet. Size 16, small. £1.45. pence. Uh, uh, you see, when you first start sewing, you try a thimble on. Well, I really need to cut my nails tonight, don't I? Um, when you put a... Th uh, uh, sorry, uh, when you first put a thimble on, it feels like you'll never, ever, ever get used to it. But boy, oh boy, does it save the end of your finger. Boy, oh boy, that's the small one, size 16. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I've got it in medium, which is size 17. Again, you can test the size, you know. You see, now, I think I usually buy a large symbol, but that, that medium one fits me. Size 17, medium. Or if you want the large, which will be an 18, I'm presuming. I don't know how... Oh. Well, I'm normally a large, but in this one I'd have to buy a medium, I think. £1.45. Size 18. And now, I don't know how you measure a thimble, so I don't know to be able to tell you what size to buy. Apart from small, medium or large. Ideal for most general sewing tasks. Well, it's not, is it? Because you can't sew with a thimble, can you? Anyway, I always think that you do need a thimble. What's the matter, Jay? He wants these buttons, does he? These. Oh, you want all of them? There you go, Jay. Right. OK, we'll cut to something else. Don't worry, Jay, and then you can get them. Now, this is brilliant, right? I just presumed this was going to be a refill for a glue pen. No, 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 no. It's a clover fabric adhesive stick. £5.95. Now, I've only got one of these. How many have I got in stock? Oh, OK. Do you know... Oh, 
<laughs> so it comes in a plastic bag and then it's got plastic coating all over it so you can't get to it. But let me just show you. It's like a very famous, you know, if you're doing paper working and there's a very famous rhymes with it, it's glue stick. It's exactly the same as that, but for fabric, look. That's what a brilliant idea. Uh, it would be brilliant. It would be brilliant for um, uh, if you're doing applique and you just want if you've not got bondina and you just want to place it down and stitch it. Um, uh, you could. Um, I'm not sure. Let me fit because uh, uh, who is who is it? The, somebody, one of our experts, places zips with it for, with with the one the other one. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's the same stickiness as the as the pen. So you could maybe position zips with it. Um, it's just a brilliant idea. Fantastic, because you put the top back on. Um, you know what I mean? And then it's gonna, you're just going to have it in your drawer, in your top drawer, or whichever drawer you keep all of your um, little bits in. 5 .95. Oh, what? Well, sorry, I would have given you warning. The iron cleaner's sold out. Sorry. Oh, my boxes, compartments. OK, there were loads of these. <clears throat> there are now less than 15 of those. Do you want to put the graphics back in for that? Just quickly, why would you do that? I'm not surprised, because it's fantastic value for money, this. 3 95 now also comes with, what I didn't mention earlier, is it all, if you're going to use it for screws and bolts and you want to store in the garage, I'm going to tip it up on its full... Right? Look. You can hang it up, right? It is. It's a sturdy, a sturdy, sturdy handle look. But if you don't want that, if you've got a sewing room, you don't want to hand it, you can just cut that off. And look, it's got rulers, it's got measures on the side here. It's brilliant, I love that. If you love storage, you're going to love that. Who would like it, Jen? Oh, yes, but there won't be any left, I don't think, for your dad to get one. What, what would your dad use it for? What, um, for his DIY things. And he loses all the bits he needs all the time, so that'd be brilliant. OK. Oh, no, Hannah's mum and dad both... Are they watching? Both a bit poorly. They've got the flu, is that what they've got? Oh, thanks for that. They've got, like, the norovirus-y one, that one, so... Oh, no. Oh, snacks, I'd love a snack. Right, OK, I'm just getting ready to get... Because the bits I've done and the bits I haven't done, you see. So we know where we are. Right, starter kit snaps. Oh, now, we talked about this yesterday, didn't we? Buy this, right, buy this starter kit, because in the starter kit, you get the tool to actually... You see how you do it? You have to supply your own hammer, but you get the upper tool and the lower tool within there. So one's that disc in there, and the other... Oh, you can see it there, and the other one's like a long mushroom-topped prong in there, right? When you've used these uh, brass-coloured uh, ones, do not throw away the little tool. Keep the little tool. In fact, do you know what? Get one of these. Keep these in them. Put your brass ones, your silver ones, your um, copper ones, and your tool can all go in there, can't it? Yeah, I've got them here. These are the brass-coloured ones. That's the, now, that's the only one I've got as the starter kit. That's the only colour... I've got as the starter kit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, he's got gold written on there. Oh, hang on then. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Oh, it's the only one we do, is it? Are you sure? Yeah, they're rust, rust proof brass, but I think what it is is they've been coloured in gold. I think that's what it is. Not real gold. Not real gold, obviously. It'll say brass on the website, because it says here, rust-proof brass, because that's what they're made out of. Because if you go to very, very cheap uh, ring companies, they do make it in brass, then coat it in the, in the silver plating or whatever. So that's your starter. Even though it says gold there, they're gold-coloured, right? Now, I have now got three different colours that you can do that with, but they're not starter kits. They're like refill kits. I'll start with the gold. You see... I'll start with the gold-coloured one. 
So this here are the same, the same brass snaps, but gold color. Right, and that, so you can use, the, the, so if you started with a starter kit, what it is, these are a bright gold, and those are a more of a matte kind of gold, aren't they? These are shiny gold, aren't they? Right? If you don't want gold coloured and you want silver coloured, I've got those, so. They're still brass, they're still made of brass, but they're silver. Where? Three ninety five. Twelve twelve sets in there. Still got is it still there? Okay. Or if you don't want the silver coloured, how about this? Now I'm presuming they call this copper, burnished copper or something like that. Gonna find out now. Bronze. Oh. Still lovely. But bronze. I'd, go, I'd give that a lovely burnished copper name myself. It's only the colour. They're obviously brass. They've just coloured that. But because if you're going to... You may not use 12 sets each time. Because there's 12 in there, 12 in there, 12 in there. 15, I think, in that one. Aren't there? No, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. So you might not... You might do an out outfit or a garment that only needs four. So you get your storage box and you keep them all together in your storage box. Three ninety-five. Brilliant. They're a must-have. All you need to supply is hammer, and I think you need a bit of wood to hammer it on, otherwise you might make dents in your tables. Right, so I've done that, done that, done that. I've got loads. I've still got loads. Oh, well, there's another packet of button here. OK. Let's do wooden buttons now, then I've done all the buttons. Or oh, Jay's taken all the buttons away, actually. 30 wooden buttons in there. Now, we've had these in a kit before, haven't we? We have had these in a kit, £1.45, look, for wooden buttons, 30 of them, all different sizes. Trim it. OK. Next. Mystic, Misty Fuse. Oh, no, Heat and Seal, Heat and Seal, got it, got it, got it, got it. Heat and Seal. So this, Heat and Seal, is composed of a fine grid of glue with paper backing to provide a light but permanent bond to fuse two fabric layers together. If you're used to using Bonder Web, this is the same thing. This is the same kind of thing, just a different colour, a different name, different name. Not it's still white, still white, still white. You get 74 centimetres by 69 centimetres for £4.95. So if you're doing a plique, what you do is you can draw on one side of it, the paper side, you iron that onto your fabric, you cut it out, you peel the paper off and then you can stick it to the other base paper, a uh, base fabric that you need to attach it to. Just doing a plique. For doing a plique and things like that, or if you want to attach lace or something like that. But they are saying this is a permanent, a light but permanent bond to fuse two fabrics together. You can machine wash it and you can iron it afterwards. It's got all the instructions on the back as well. Tweezers with a magnifying glass. Right, less than 10 of those now. Less than 10 of those now. Do you want to put the graphics in, sorry? Obviously, you only get one. Whoop. You only get one of them, but I'm just showing you. That's it out the packet. That's it in the packet there. There's less than 10 of those now. And they are discontinued. Not ours. We haven't discontinued them, but Prim have discontinued them. Well, that's what Paul, that's what Paul told me the other day. Right, moving on. Misty Fuse, I'd never seen this before. Misty Fuse, it's like a um, very, very lightweight uh, interfacing, isn't it? So if you just want to stabilise some fabric before you um, embroider it or applique it or anything like that, or make... Like yesterday, Jennifer's cushion, she put some uh, interfacing on the back. You could use this if you just want very, very soft interfacing. We've got cobwebs, don't need to make cobwebs. Tim said he would have made cobwebs out of this for today's set. We've got green cobweb and orange cobweb. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Uh, Velcro coming up next. Now you saw this yesterday. Oh! 
Yeah, are they both the same? Yeah, they're both the same. The sticky on ones. Uh, what you do is stick on for fabric, your Velcro. It is Velcro. It's made by Velcro. I can say Velcro. Don't need to say one touch fastening. You don't have to sew it, glue it, or iron it. You simply peel back, stick, and done. Wait for 24 hours, and then you can use it uh, brilliantly. Put full permanent bond after 24 hours. Works best on cotton, polyester, and poly blends. Oh, and nylon. And you, once they're on, you can wash the garment at 30 degrees. The Velcro will be fine up to 30 degrees. And you can dry clean it as well. But you can't tumble dry it. Ooh, that's funny. I always tumble dry my Velcro. So that's the dots. That's the dots. If you want the dots in black. But we also have white. But the white isn't in dots. The white is in strips. Now, this is the one that threw us a little bit. Have a look at the picture on the front of here, right? They've sort of put strips of fabric on their window, look. We can't quite figure that one out. If you do that at home, please tell us why. But most people would use it for, you know, what, this is it, you see. So what, what it is, is you get the male and the female equivalent of the Velcro. So one side has got hooks, the other side has got fuzz. And then what you do is, it's got a backing on here, I'm not sure if I can do it today, but... Oh, yeah, there you go. You pull the backing off to reveal a self... There it is. That's very, very sticky there. You press it down on the fabric. You press that one down on the fabric like that. Leave it for 24 hours. Then you do this one, cut this one to the same shape. You peel the back of this one and you put it in exactly the opposite place where you need it on your garment. Leave it for 24 hours and then it's a permanent bond look. But then you can also put it open. 3 That can Where's the packet of that so I can show you the packet? How much do you get? How much do you get? Uh, 60 centimetres you get. 60 centimetres you get of that. So that's the white, that's the white uh, one. Right, while I'm on this side, can I just do glue? Then I've done everything on this side. Textile glue, which now, not if you're going to make the purses, you don't need it for the purses we're doing today, but if you do want to attach fabric to fabric, like on the front of a T-shirt or do some garment uh, customisation. And Joe Carter uses this for when she does her purses, which, because some of them you need to... Today's purses you're going to sew, but she um, glues her purse. This is the... Um, Guterman HT2 Textile Glue. And I just want to point out, the nozzle does get... is fine, so if you need it to get into uh, very, very uh, little spaces, you can do. Oh, it's empty. That one's empty. My, my display one's empty. Oh! No, it's not. But you see, it didn't go everywhere, did it? It's very good quality glue. It didn't go everywhere. Very controlled. Right. I'll just go and I'll do little rotary cutters. Now, uh, Lucy's used these. Lucy's used these recently uh, for just doing tiny, tiny little uh, craft work shows. Just if you've got to cut, especially if you've got to cut um, curves out, they're very, very good if you cut curves out as well. Nine ninety five. Nine pounds and 95 pence. In fact, is this mine? Is this one mine? Is this one I bought? You. Yeah, 9.95. Brilliant, bye. I'll tell you in the break. Now, please, if you do want one of those brilliant Christmas gifts, because it's still got, the, even though it's tiny, it's still got the safety catch on. So look, you can open the guard, close the guard. Okay. Oh. Oh, Georgina <coughs> says, use the Velcro on the window for a mosquito net. No, no, no. She doesn't mean catch the mosquitoes on the Velcro. She means put the, put the, get the mosquito net, put this on one side of the net, covers the window, and you put it across the top. Then, then when you don't need it, you can rip it down and wash it. But, Georgina, have you got lots of... Um, I have mosquitoes near me because there's a great big lake. Well, no, that's a bit of an exaggeration. There's a pond behind my house, but a wild pond, a wild pond with ducks on it and things like that. 
But if you look at the picture, Georgina, here, I wasn't quite sure what they've done on theirs, you see. I'm not quite sure what that is for. Anyway, I might ring Velcro later. And I, no, because I'm going straight home today. Right, the, the, every day for the last four days, I've got to leave straight away. I've got to leave straight away. Didn't leave to go on three yesterday, did we? Uh, next, books. Quilters, fabric or sewing supplies. Let's do quilters first. This is such a brilliant little gift. Oh, crikey, I'm going to run out of time. Oh, okay, not that one, not that one. We'll do this one then. Sewing supply. Ooh, hiccup. Sewing supplies. Brilliant for taking shopping. Uh, if you just just everything you might need for somebody setting up their workroom. Five pounds and ninety-five pence. Everything you need to know. Look, all in one little book. All about materials. Look at that. Look at that. Tells you what the materials are what their features are, fabric types, just everything. Brilliant if you're just starting off. That'd be a lovely little um, little Christmas gift, little Christmas stocking filler. I've got to do these. Uh, oh, what am I going to do? I've got these needles, right? Got three of them in three different sizes. So I'll start with the ones with the white top, which are 23, 26 millimetre quilters premium fine and extra fine needles. Right. Very quickly, it comes 4.45. It comes a little storage like that. You open it like that, there are your needles, take a needle out, use it, pop it back, and they go away. They won't fall out, they won't fall out. There's a magnet system in the bottom, they won't fall out. So they're the ones, they are the 2326 assorted fine and extra fine. I've also got them in 26 millimetre extra fine, they're the ones with the yellow top. Oh, I've got ages to know I'm rushing. I was thinking, does normally have to go somewhere else to round up, don't I? And I was getting a bit panicky. So they're the yellow ones. Brilliant. I love them, I love them. Because uh, if you drop, knock it over, they don't all fall. You know, if you drop a pack of needles, they go over and on. Ones with the orange top are 23 millimetres fine. Brilliant, aren't they? Ba-chunk. Right, and last but not least, I've got one more thing to show you. These are a gorgeous little gift, right? If you want to do big cross-stitching, I think Shimoy Mary might like these. So if you think it's like a heart-shaped box, right, you could do cross-stitching. Think, oh, that'd make a lovely little jewellery box, lovely little um, net there. But then look at this, look at this, like a Russian doll. There's one inside. So you could cross-stitch that one as well if you wanted to. Right? But then look. It's only £3.95. Well, you get that one as well. It stops there. There's not one inside that one. But you get the three hearts beating as just one. Oh, no, that's not right, is it? Together forever. Oh, no, that's another song. I've started a different song completely there. So you get all three of those. For three pounds and ninety-five pence, and if you watch in my uh, um, eleven o'clock show, we've got embroidery threads. We've got embroidery threads in, so you could do the cross stitching using the embroidery threads, couldn't you? In the from the eleven o'clock hour. Is there anything else you'd like to see before I go? Oh, the, the magnetic seam guide. Very, very popular. All it is, it's metallic, right? And this bit, you, you just put it onto your. Um, so machine, so it, and then put this bit here as far away from the needle as you need it to be. And then you, so if, say if you're doing quilting and you just want it always to be an inch away from the last row of stitches or an inch from the edge of the fabric, you can just measure it up against that. More, more if you're from the edge of the fabric, then you can just guide the edge of the fabric along there. Or of course, um, you could, uh, for anything, if, if, you're, if the machine, mine, is, mine did have three eighths and five eighths on it, they've worn out over the years, right? So you just pop that on your machine. All I will say, and the manufacturers say this, is if you've got a digital machine, um, just don't, you know, like your phone, don't put your phone by a magnet or anything like that, because it just, mag the magnets and digital don't really get on that well. But having said that, all morning it's been on this machine here, next to me, been absolutely fine, no problem at all. Three pounds and 95 pence. Right, don't go anywhere. Jennifer Mills. Oh, let me just tell you very quickly about the um, spend and save as well. 
Uh, if you, it's not from anything on the telly. It's only from the web shop. Lots of people have been buying big waddings, big, uh, their big um, charm packs and things like that. And, uh, uh, um, fat quarters, fat quarters. Uh, I'll tell you more about it after the break. Don't go anywhere because Jennifer Mills is coming up with a plaid dress, right? And before we start that, when we come back after that, I'll explain that at Spend and Save because lots and lots and lots of you taking advantage of that today. It's only for today and tomorrow. So go and get yourself a cup of tea or watch these very important messages and we will see you here in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Hi, I'm Jo Carter and these are my top three tools. The first tool I'm going to talk about is scissors. It's a really obvious one, but I really do love my scissors. I have tons of pairs. I'm never far away from a pair. Um, but really good, sharp scissors that are sharp all the way along. They don't get used for anything else. They're just safe fabric, are a vital piece of kit, and it makes cutting out so much quicker and easier. Another one of my favourite tools is the water erasable pen. It's brilliant for soft toy making because you can mark on faces. Before you commit to embroidering them in place, you can draw eyes on and make sure they line up, that the toy has the right look or the look that you're after. I think these are vital and I always have at least two in my kit at any one time. And number three in my top three tools will be the mini steam iron. I've recently got one of these for my sewing room and because I have quite a small sewing desk, it's brilliant to have this. It doesn't take up much space, but it means that once I've started sewing, I don't have to get off my chair, I don't have to get up. I'm a big fan of not moving once I've started. And it doesn't break the flow of my sewing. I just, as and when, just give things a little press and carry on with what I'm doing. So that's my third top tool. To help you have a crafty Halloween, we've got a frightfully good offer for all of you. Delve into our devilishly tempting online range of fabrics and sewing essentials and save as you spend. The offer is simple. Spend on our online shop and save as you go. Spend £35 online and get 15% off with code SQ15. Spend £50 and get 25% off with code SQ25. And spend £60 online and we'll give you a massive 35% off with code SQ35. So, get ready to expand your stash for less, but hurry, the offer only lasts 48 hours and ends when the clock strikes midnight on the 1st of November. If you're looking for a seasonal project you can complete before Christmas, look no further. On Thursday the 2nd of November, Jess Entwistle will show us how to make a delightful dove garland. Available in three colour options, our handy kit contains everything you need to deck your halls the handmade way this holiday season. With a helping hand from host Natasha, Jess will show us how to achieve an impressive finished look while using simple techniques. So, join us on Thursday the 2nd of November at 8am for this fabulously festive demonstration only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. <laughs> We've suddenly gone back to Christmas again. Suddenly gone back to Christmas again. Anyway, it was Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, now, um, did you see, on those adverts, brilliant, all the uh, tips and everything like that. When I was at Bretton Hall College, right, the head of housekeeping called Mrs Milbourne, right, she, I've just seen this in real life. I've just seen this on the screen. And I thought, oh, it's Mrs Milbourne reborn. That's identical to a frock that Mrs Milbourne used to wear when I was at college in the... Oh, whenever I went to college. <laughs> The dates won't make any sense because I went to Bretton Hall, 78 to 81, and I'm only 39. Anyway, 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 uh, you can't go wrong with a plaid dress, can you? I love plaid. I, I said I wanted kind of like lounging. Uh, when I had this fabric last time, like lounging trousers. Not that I wear lounging trousers, but they'd be really love. You know when Hannah has her days when she lies on the sofa with her duvet wrapped around and going, I'm never drinking again. Happens quite a lot yesterday, day before yesterday, day before that. Um, 
Uh, just those really, really cosy, lovely. But a dress like this, you see, you could use this in so many different ways, couldn't you? Use it as it is like that. Or put a polo neck jumper underneath it or a long sleeve top underneath it, blouse underneath it. You can just very, very, very versatile. Jennifer is here. Um, now, what we're going to do is show you techniques because it's it's quite a simple the actual pattern itself is quite simple but there's lots of techniques like how do you match the stripes how do you match the darts what do you do with the darts everything like that so we're going to do a whole hour of lovely sewing techniques but before jennifer starts with that i'm just going to show you the fabrics that we've got available here oh do you know what everything's set up for when the christmas tree's there right and i was like why is this in the wrong place because right? normally there's a christmas tree sticking in my back there anyway the one that Jennifer's, the dress Jennifer's made is here. Now this is a metre that I'm showing you obviously here. Uh, 6 95 for half a metre. It's check in grey flannel. Now I've, I haven't done my homework properly here today. I'm presuming it's 100% cotton. Yes. Uh, the width is 114. Slightly narrower than the normal fabrics, 114 centimetres. I uh, washed it at 40 degrees, 100% cotton. Lovely, isn't it? Now, in most dressmaking shows, and I'm sure Jennifer will reiterate this, I would wash the fabric before I started the project. Just straight away. Because uh, there will be, if it's 100% cotton, there will be a tiny bit of shrinkage, that's all. And in dressmaking, we always, uh, we always advise to wash any fabrics before you start. OK, so that's the grey. Then I've got two, like, smaller checks here. One's in red, which is this one. Oh, gosh, and then um, I'll show you the others. There you go. There's the red one. It's nice, isn't it? That's lovely. Now, it's got that lovely, uh, well, it's flannel fabric, that lovely, lovely brushed cotton feel to it on the outside. And then the inside, oh, no, well, the inside's soft as well, but it hasn't got the brushed cotton on. So if you're going to make pyjamas out of it, they're going to look like traditional pyjamas on the outside. But the inside, obviously, because it's a print, you see, it's, got, it's, it's still soft, but you're not going to have fluffy insides, that's all. 6 95 for half a metre. That's a metre that I'm showing you there. Uh, again, 114 centimetres wide. Now we've got the same fabric in the blue. This is nice. This is lovely, this one. OK, so when Hannah gets a part in Call the Midwife, she's going to have a little frock made out of this. She's on her bike. Oh, no, you can't wear it if you're a midwife. Because you can't wear flannel if you're a midwife. You have to wear your little cot cotton front. She, yeah, you could be home, home visit, yeah. You could, or you could be the nosy next door neighbour. No, she could be, you could be the nosy next door neighbour who happens to be a midwife. Couldn't you? A friend of mine's just um, got a part in Poldark and he's so excited, I can't tell you. He's put on Facebook, it's my childhood dream to be in Poldark. And I'm like, oh, poor boy. Right, then we've got the red, pl red plaid. This is nice, look. That's lovely, isn't it? Now, you see, that one shirt, I'd have a shirt made out of that one, please. Uh, 6 95 for half a metre. This is check in red and black. From Mad for Plaid. You see, how did they not know it was said plaid, but it's called Mad for Plaid? Anyway, six pounds and 95 pence for half a metre. Lastly, and then I love this last one. There's something that this, this last one has appeared in my childhood, and I can't think why, but in, you know when you look at something, you suddenly go, it takes you back to when you were a child in the 1990s. <laughs> I'm very confused about my age, I'll tell you. Um, this is the one that Jennifer's using. This is the one that Jennifer's using in her, uh, her, di her display. She's not doing a display. Her demonstration. <laughs> um, six nine, I love this one. 6 95 This one's called Checking White Flannel Fabric for Mad for Plaid. 6 95 for half a metre. Uh, you could, you know, you can make a lovely duffel bag out of that. That'd make a lovely duffel bag, that one. Anyway, let me just fold that one up. Go and see Jennifer and see what pearls of wisdom she has for us today. Hello. Hello. Miss uh, <laughs> Halloween. How are you? I'm well. How are you? If, oh, I forgot the lady. I forgot to bring Jacob. Bring it over in a minute. Um, if you've got any questions 
for Jennifer at all. Just get them in, just get them in, just get them in. Right, so now I've got to show you the book because this pattern comes from the Great British Sewing Bee Book. Right, for 90, oh, 1995. Now, some of the projects in here have got a pattern at the back of the book, and then others, like this one, which we'll discuss in a second, the pattern is there, but you have to photocopy it to get the pattern. Or download it. Yeah, hang on, let me just, what page was this? Oh, here you go, I've got it there. 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 Right, so this is the, oh, this is the dress here. Come on, John. Right. She looks very um, pensive, doesn't she, here? OK, so this is the dress we made here. Uh, it's got all your instructions within the book, right? And then if you turn over, there's the pattern. But there are no pattern pieces as such. It just says on here, enlarge by 500%. Enlarge by 500%. It's a very simple style. You've got a front that you cut on the fold. And you've got a back that you cut with, with a, a seam at the back and two facings, well, a, a facing and an armhole. Oh, no, it's all in one, isn't it? Armhole and facing, um, neck facing there. Now, it's very simple to follow and it has different colours for the... So you need to do a coloured uh, photocopy, but not everybody's machine will enlarge by 500%. So this is where I pass over to Jennifer to explain what she had to do. I went to the URL that's on that page that you're yes. just showing, and I downloaded and printed 27 Oh, OK. Of paper. Oh, there's a URL on there as well. Sorry, yes. I didn't get that right. So you so, can either photocopy it, or you can do the URL that's, that's mentioned on that page, which comes up in your computer. You then print it on your computer. But there are how many pages? 27. So if you... Um, be ready for 27 pages coming out of <laughs> your machine. And don't do what Jay did. When I did the, this before, Jay said, I've saved your paper, I've done it on both sides. So Ooh. don't do that. Don't do no. that, because obviously you need to cut it out. And it's like a jigsaw. Right. So it says... How do you know which goes next to each other? It's they, all numbered. They, oh, it's all numbered. There you go. 3A to 3B and, oh, okay. and so on. Through all the... Oh, I don't know what you're moaning about, then. It's easy, then, if we've all got 3A's and 3B's. Never. OK. So it ends up... Looking like. Oh, right. So yeah. that's, uh, that's a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. Because I was going to say, if you're going to enlarge by 500%, you're going to have to go to the library, get them to do it for you or something like that. Whereas if there's a URL that's in the book, so buy the book, you'll get the URL, you, you click on it, and then your printer will print it all up. But as uh, you've said, there are 27, 27 um, pages that you do have to print yeah. up, so be ready. And then, now, instead of having colours, they have different dots for the different sizes. Which I'm yes, presume, different oh, yes, dash there. lines with a sort of key to tell you 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And always, always make sure before you print that you print at 100%. Right. And don't have on the printer settings any adjustments because that will be like grading the pattern. Yes. Now, now that was going to be my next question because it only goes up to a size 16, I mm. see there. Yeah. Um, is it... What size have you made? I've made a 12. And would you say it was a generous 12 or a... a K and L dummy is twelve, isn't yes. it? So there's some ease in there, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. So it's a, it's a generous twelve then, yes. like a Wallace twelve rather than a Topshop twelve. Yes. Right. I'm, I'm only saying that I'm not. That's not me bitching about shops or anything. But you know, if you go to Wallace, if you buy a twelve, you're going to get a good full twelve. Whereas if you go to Topshop, you know that a twelve is going to be a bit like that. It, different designers, you know, and everything like that. Hmm. So, so you print off your pattern. You put it away already. You print <laughs> off your pattern. It's got all the darts on. It's got the neckline on. It's got the facing shapes yes, on, and everything and it like includes that. Uh, seam allowance. And in this case, it's a centimeter. Oh, so it's got seam so allowance. So if you prefer already... working, right. yeah, they're all included. Right. But I think you and I have talked about there being a sort of when you're making dresses, a 1.5. So if you're in the habit of and you like a 1.5 seam allowance. Um, adjust it accordingly, because yes. the pattern includes a centimetre. Right. Including the centre-back seam, which is quite unusual. Of course. Oh, right, OK. Also, what length have we said? Quite a long length anyway, mm. isn't it? Yeah, sort of... We have um, a, lot, a lot of ladies saying, oh, John, how would I make it longer if I want it longer? Yeah. All you do is slice across one of these lines going across the skirt pattern, because it's a straight skirt. Oh, actually, you could just add it onto the bottom of this, couldn't you? Yeah. You could add, is, just add it onto the bottom. It is completely put... straight. I checked. Completely first, straight skirt. Because so I didn't know just... whether it yeah. would have a slight A-line. So if you want it a little bit longer, just add to the bottom there. And now, the only thing is if you wanted to go wider, it, it's not a split and 
fan, it would literally be a grading up. So it's quite difficult to make. So if, you're, if it is bigger than a 16 you're looking for, it's going to be difficult to grade up without having any grading up of pattern knowledge. I'm just being, I'm just being yeah, totally, totally, totally honest. I don't want somebody to buy it thinking, oh, I could just make it bigger, like John showed me in the past. Mm. No. If you want to make this bigger than a 16... Now, obviously, it'll be a full 16, but if you want to make it bigger than a 16, then you're going to need grading experience to make it, the pattern mm. bigger. Because those darts... Yes. ...are both really key to it. I mean, it's a classic shift dress, so it's a great pattern to have, and you yes. can make it in many different yes. fabrics. Yes, yes. It's, it's an absolute classic. But, but, but the fit is very important to get those in the right place. Now, that dart just looks like a normal bust dart. Yes. I'm um, here. That dart there just looks like a normal bust dart. Mm -hmm. But this dart here, they've kind of almost like... It looks like they've not curved it off, but it looks mm. like that's a curved dart yes. rather than a straight Which dart. Which is the shape of the body, isn't it? Round, yeah. the, round the ribs. Yeah. So you wouldn't want a dart that goes... Hard. Because yes. it's all about... Smooth curves. If you're if you're confused about where in the body we are, if you're new to patterns and everything like this, this is the bust point here, where you always have a bust dart coming from the side seam to the bust, and then this is the goes from your bust to your uh, waist, and then down to your so hips. So it's here, there. and then it yes. tapers out. Then it tapers at high out. High hip there. So, so it's a very, very simple. Once you've got your pattern that you know fits you, you see what I would do. This is what I would do. Sorry, I'm. Are we going to talk twirls? I'd make a calico. I'd I make would. a calico. I'd make a twirl out of this pattern straight away yeah. and see that the twirl fitted me Definitely. before I started cutting the fact. Because the amount of work that you're going to have to do yeah. to match um, checks and stripes and everything, yeah. it's worth making sure that the whole thing fits you mm -hmm. before. Then what you do is if that twirl is, if you need to set the twirl in or let the twirl out or slightly change the shape or move a dart or something, you've then got that pattern yeah. in your calico. And as you say, this kind of shaped dress, you can make in flannel, you can make all sorts of different, different dresses out you of this. Could, um, uh, not jerseys, you wouldn't use it as a jersey, you need a different pattern for jerseys, but all the different cottons, all the different um, other fabrics we have. Apparently, Calico's back in stock, it's on the website if you want it. It's right. very, very, I was going to say cheap, it is cheap here. It's very good value. Right, OK, I'll let you get on now, I'll shut up. I was... Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if you heard that at home, there's like a motorbike rally going on outside. Yeah, I was definitely going to say about the twirl because you can make it work for you. If you make the dress again, you could decide to do a, a, a different neckline mm -hmm. and then you can try the twirl on and chalk on it a different neckline. Yeah. So it's so useful and it's a stage that I always recommend. Oh, but your twirl is there for you to do it's all the different... It's reference, isn't it? And, and it's, it's calico, if you're calico, you can draw lines yeah. on it. You can see where that neckline might not be perfect for every, you know, exactly. kind of, of... Somebody might want it slightly higher, somebody might want it slower. On your toile, you could put it on your stand drawer where you want, and then you've got your new pattern pieces yeah, there. They're so also, useful. I'm going completely off piece now. If you don't want, a lot of people don't like a bust dart here. Mm -hmm. They don't like the, the way. Uh, in here, it's kind of lovely, uh, disguised in, in the in the plaid there. But what you could do is you could turn tang it into um, move the dart so you get a really lovely seam coming across and over the bust like that. Dart manipulation. Right. Can I put it right. away now? Oh, hang on, I've got to show you where Calico is on the website, first of all. OK, have a look, have a look, have a look. You go to the website. You go to uh, shop. You press shop first. Then you go to plain fabric by length. Oh, there it is on the first line. 195 for half a metre. One pat. Now, if you need more than one and a half metres, you need to ring the call centre. But look at the width, look at the width, look at the width. It's 100 and... It's just over 160, isn't it? What? 162. If you want more than a metre and a half, you need to ring the call centre, but I definitely get that. It's back in stock. Fantastic. Fantastic. OK, oh, now! Well, if it's not on the telly, it's in the web shop, and we didn't start that web... We didn't start that. I'll tell you about the web the spend and save. Yeah? No, no, exactly. So it's not been on the telly. It's not been on the telly, so it's on... So you can use it to buy... You oh. get your discount. I'll tell you about that later. We've got to get on with the sewing. Sorry. Right. OK. So I've... I would pre-wash my fabric. Yes. And then, when the fabric's all laid out... I will yes. get on with the sewing, but I think it's really important to mention this. Yes. With the plaid, what I did was... decided which I wanted my centre-front position to be, so right. that that is right down the centre front and not offset. So you've got a non-check down the centre front? I've got the middle of the grey 
a middle of there, that's yeah. your centre front. So you've chosen yes. where what so you have to look at your fabric because obviously they're all going to be slightly different, yeah. aren't they? Like that. So you need to choose what you actually want. Because some people would actually want a stripe going yeah. down the centre front. Some people want the non-stripe going down the centre yeah. front. So it's just either side. And it it will mean that your selvages aren't absolutely level because you've yeah. adjusted it yeah. slightly. And then I pinned, so I had imagine this is another imagine if. Yes. The fabric's all laid out. Yes. And I pinned probably about a dozen pins all the way through the fabric. Okay. So keep talking, keep talking. If I went through the centre of this sort of window pane check with a pin, very much like I do when I'm matching darts, I made sure it went through the okay. one underneath. And then that means... Right, so if this is your piece of fabric, just explain yes. what you were talking to me okay. about then. So if I move... So this, imagine through. this is your piece of fabric yeah. that you've so it's been washed in... Oh, how much fabric do they need to make... How much did you use to make that? Uh, that's a very good question. It'll be the I length twice, won't it? I think I used at least two metres off the top of my head. And, and more. And then the facings, yes. So the facings, because of their shape, because use quite a lot of fabric. So you need from that point there yeah. to the hem, yes. plus your seam allowances, yes. don't you? Twice. Yes. OK, because it's not wide enough. It's not a wide fabric. You can get them both out next door to each it other. Isn't. And you can't do moving round of no. patterns because of the check. Sorry, we'll yeah. check, I'll check that for you now, but Yeah, so pre-washed fabric. Yes. And then... Did you tumble dry it or did you wash it and then leave it on a line? I would usually leave it on a line. Okay. Yeah. So either right sides out or right sides together. Yeah. Whichever works. And then... So I've decided which... So with this, let's say, so, so mm, what you which need, is going to be the centre. What you need to do is iron out, well, it will, if you've washed it, it will have gone the anyway. The crease will go. Don't yeah. go with our crease line. That existing crease is there, so yes. it's, it's off the middle of that white section there. there yes, there, so there's the crease that they came with, so it's nowhere, it's not a central, it's just where the fabric's been folded. So you if know. I decide I now want that to be down the centre yes. of the dress. Now, you see, it's funny, on this one, on the white one, I would definitely choose the white stripe to go Indeed. down the middle, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then fold it together. And I put lots of pins in to make sure that all of the checks were matching. Before you do anything. It's Before literally I did just a washed anything. piece of fabric, fold it in yeah. half, and you're now going to pin it. Yes. So I went over it at regular intervals, picking a point. So yeah. if I go through the middle of that check. I want to go through the middle of that check. So it probably took a good half an hour maybe. But when, when you have a pattern like this, it's, it, this, is, this is almost more important than the sewing, isn't it? Because well, if the checks are off, I think well, it yes. would really sort of make it look quite skewed yes, and, yes. and not in alignment. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it would be, it would be, because you're... And then, tricky to sew as well, because you would You get people looking at you like this going, what's wrong with her? There's something wrong with the front of, you know. And it wouldn't be as easy to sew. No. Because you wouldn't have those nice lines that you know belong yes. together. So you're matching so all, the way all over. over. Before yeah. you put your pattern down or anything, you're matching. Yeah. So your squares, your stripes and your squares. Yeah. Going through. Both going crossways and downwards. You, make, yeah. you want them to be identical, don't yeah. you? So like that. You see, it can be surprising how off it can be. And just yes. a few millimetres can make a massive difference to the enjoyment of the sewing it and the enjoyment of the wearing. Yes, exactly. Two. And so also, if it's a over. millimetre out at the top there, if it's all a millimetre, millimetre, before you're down here, yeah. you're a centimetre and a half out, do you exactly. know what I mean? Exactly, yes. So I would do that all the way over. Yeah. And then I decided where I wanted the checks to finish at the bottom. Oh. Now, if you're going to... That's the other benefit of the twirl. You know what length you want your dress to be. Because just a couple of centimetres on a shift dress can I didn't, I didn't make even all the about difference, the yes, exactly. can't they? Exactly. So that's something you could note on your twirl and then take it to this yes. and be confident that you're not going to end up, say, hemming it. Yeah. And if you were happy with the dress length finishing like that, you end up feeling... I mean, it still works, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but if, if you've got, like, on the grey one that you've done here, there's a definite darker... Stripe round, and if your hem was halfway through one of the stripes, you, I, I, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah. I'd have, what I would have done is I'd have made the dress, and then I'd have made them have it at the length where I, <laughs> where the stripe finished. So I'd have taken it slightly shorter. I love that. Make them have this, it. Oh no, this length suits you so much better. <laughs> as I said, up. Anyway, 
Morning, John and Jennifer. I've been looking forward to watching you with all your tips along with your relaxed style. That's oh. you, not me. That's Anne in Cheshire. How lovely. Thank I'm you, Anne. I'm not a relaxed style, am I? Right, carry on then. You are. So, quite a bit of prep, but well worth it. And then I also decide on, like I said, where the pattern piece is going to be placed. So where that dress pattern piece is going to be placed, bearing in mind yes. where it finishes, and then the same for the other one. So if I place that hem at the bottom of that check, yeah. I want to do the same for the back, right. so that when we sew the side seams together, it's not stepped. Yes. Now, um, I notice you've matched brilliantly the stripes going round the body there. Yes. Because that's more important, isn't it, than match, trying to match stripes going I think so. that way. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. so. Because look, look, how, look how brilliantly matched those stripes going across the dress up. Now, if they slightly missed, it's going to look either like a very cheap um, factory. Yeah. You know, because... That's a lot the nature, of, isn't yes, it, of mass uh, production. Um, what was that? Disposable fashion. Yeah. They won't think about no. matching stripes. It's about getting factory, as much out of a because, certain yes, quantity because, of fabric as exactly. possible. Exactly. And they'll, they'll just think, just cut it out and sew it together. Yes. But that automatically makes the finish look more professional mm -hmm. and more sleek, doesn't it? It does. So how do you work out where the stripe's going to be in the right place. So I decided where I wanted the hem to finish on one pattern piece. So if I placed the pattern and decided it was going to lie and pin it yeah. along the bottom... Of, you didn't see that. So if I pinned it and I decided yeah. on... Because it's just two dress pattern pieces, front yes. and back, along, say, the bottom of this bold window pane check, so yes. that line, I would do the same for the other. Yes. And just... Make a mental note. That's where I'm positioning it. Do you not? Do you not draw? I'm not, not saying that you're wrong no, at I like all. It. I like but it when, when, I, when I've done checked do. fabric in the past, because especially yeah. when it's print, because this is printed, oh, not the woven. Piece. I actually draw. Yeah. So if, even though you've you've lined your bottom seam up along that stripe there, yeah. I would then get my pencil and I draw. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. And I'd idea. cut colour that pencil. So I knew that that bit was a little green. That was the green yeah. check. And I'd literally, especially, not that one there, because that's on the fold. When you're cutting that one out, that's on the fold. You wouldn't need to do that there. Mm. But I would definitely do it down this seam here. And I'd definitely do it down the centre-back seam. Mm. Because then you know you're going to... Because there's nothing worse. You just spin yours round. You see, if those didn't match down the back there and they were slightly off, people are just going to know. Mm. And people see the back of you far more, don't yeah. they? As you walk along, they're like... Mm. Uh, so I would literally just draw it onto my pattern as well. That's a great idea. Okay. Um, there was something else as well that just came to me then, and it's gone. Okay, it'll it was, come back. It was equally important. Um, no, it'll come back to stripe. me. Stripe, drawing the stripes yes, on. Yes, it was, it was to do with the, the checks. Anyway, so quite yes. a lot of prep, but well worth it. Right. Uh, what I, I take want, those to, want out to do so is that, that the pattern that you've <laughs> drawn, you've printed up here, was for a size 12, did you say, off yes. the book? Oh, sorry, do you need the fabric? No, no, I don't, don't need your fabric, I don't need fabric. I was going to work out the fabric, how much fabric you need. Uh-huh. Uh, the book's there, the book's there. I'll go through the book again in a minute, but I think Je I can do the book any time, whereas uh, Jennifer's sewing tips are very, very important. Right, OK, so from that top there to the bottom there. Now, you said this has got seam allowance in it. Yes, it has a centimetre. OK, so now... And a This is 108 centimetres, right? So if you want it with the, with the hem allowance they've got there, you're going to need 2.16 metres mm -hmm. because you need two lengths. Can I ask very quickly, because you're going to need to cut out the facings, and I know you yeah. want to come to the facings later. Do I need to add more on for the facings? Yes, or because is the they're quite substantial here? pattern pieces, and um, they, you can kind of interlock them with the pattern pieces. In fact, isn't there a lay plan in the book? I'll double-check that. What, a lay plan, so it shows... Oh, yes. It shows how they position together. Oh, so, so the most you'd need for a size 12 is 2 16. I think so, but I'll double-check. OK. I'd hate okay. to get it wrong. We, we can have a look. We, yeah, go on. Okay. Right, I'll check the lay plan out in a second for you. So I marked... I'll just move the fabric. I'll take... This is mine. I'll take this one away now. OK. Are there any, did you leave any pins in it? No, I took them all out. No, you didn't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> took most of them out. So I put, I did my usual technique of transferring the dark markings by putting a pin through the paper and marking dark points. So with this one, I've got dark point and then two little snips at the end. And then I used a set square, you could use a ruler, yes. just to join those up. This one's got a nice curve, like we were saying, because it's around the rib area, so it's yes. going in. 
It's not going point, point like that. So I've got dark point, two reference points, and then I've joined those up. So I've sewn a couple already because I wanted to try and get the facing done. So I'll sew this other dart. Um, you've drawn it on by doing the point to point to point, but you could yes. also use a tracing wheel and, you your, and your carbon paper. Yeah, there are lots of different really useful tools for transferring markings. The carbon paper and the tracing wheel is particularly good for curved darts because you can just run it over that line like that. Right, now, they must have a wider fabric, have they? Yes, I? I think they have. I think it says 140, doesn't it, on the description, which makes quite a difference. Here we go, yeah. yeah right, what they're saying is you need 1.6 metres, but if the fabric is 140 centimetres wide. But because ours is only 114, you are going to need twice the drop. So if it was a, if you've got a wider fabric, then you get away with you can get away with one point one point six meters of fabric, right? But because ours is slightly narrower, you mm. are going to. I'll just take that off. I've just realised I still got that on. Um, you can um, you're going to need to buy more for it to, to fit in because what they've done is let me just show you the layout how they've laid it out. So they folded the fabric in half, and they've got the front here against the um, fold, then they've got the back there, and then they've got the pieces here. But what mm. we're going to have to do with ours is you put it down there and down there, and then whether you can pick, cut your um, facing pieces out of the side there is what we're just going to sort out now. Yes. Pauline, nothing from Pauline yet. There you go. Hi, thank you for your tips. I really struggle with pattern matching. That's Pauline in Lincolnshire. Thank you, Pauline. Well, we're going to see how to do it now. So I've sewn the back darts, and I was going to ask you a question about this. Because, yes. Because um, I don't think we've done... I certainly haven't done this dart with you before, and I have worked with people who do them differently. Do you start at the tapered end and sew all the way to the other tapered end, or do you sew your darts, starting at the tapered end, going to the middle, starting at the tapered oh, end, no. going to the middle? All in one. Do you? Start at the top. Work, and I do both of them the same. Mm. So I start at the top on one, come down. Can you see that there? So there, there's your little dart there. Now, what you, when you put your dart in, don't panic, because your stripes will still be in the same place going across. But obviously, because you've taken fabric in and out, they're going to move yes. inwards like this. So you're going to get that kind of mm. uh, hourglass shape. So your stripe will come in and out there, down the dart, as it were. And also, on a similar note, yes. the checks match on the side seam but only up to the bust point yes because we're pinching out a portion of fabric they won't match yes. but if somebody's coming up. up to you and looking under your armpit like that then it's not they're good, either a very it? good friend or the, you know <laughs> so what you do so you're doing the yes yeah, so i'm i'm just folding over i've marked all the, all of the darts i've stay stitched my edges i should right. mention that too and because this pattern includes a centimeter seam allowance i've made sure it's within so i've lengthened my Stitch length, and I've just sewn. Do you just stay all stitch on everything then? I do. You see, I wouldn't have bothered on this personally because this is so soft and I think quite stretchy on the bias. Yeah. I didn't want that to lose its shape okay. and then find when I sewed the facing on that it felt like that yes. had become a lot bigger. Okay. So I've sewn that dart already, and I'll sew this one and then this one. Okay. And sew the two together because I have a top tip on how to match these shoulders so that it doesn't prove tricky. Perfect. And hopefully, I'll get to that. No, no, you will do. You're turning I will it halfway through. Certainly aim to. Which is why I think, you see, we're not going to try and make a finished dress. We're not going to be doing zips. We're not going to do that. We're just concentrating on, in this show, on specific techniques because it's what you've said you want to see more of. So rather than trying to rush and make a dress, make a dress, make a dress, make a dress, it's much better to spend time on matching the darts and things like that, really, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. And then those. And then key next skills. week you can race through and make a dress. <laughs> so. I'll just show that. I think I skipped through that. So my dart is marked. Yes. Like so. And then I'm going to pinch it. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not you. The upstairs camera's playing up a bit. So. Okay. So there's the... Can you see that? The, the dart is marked there. That's the end point there. And then the two points here, which will be notches on your pattern. So you know that that point has to go to that point. Then it finishes there. I think that'll make it show up more clearly, won't it? Yeah. And that's my dark point. Yeah. And your dark point there is your normally your nipple point, your point-to-point -point part mark there, just on the side of your nipple. 
So I put a pin in that directs me to the end. So yeah. I treat that as a so you know visual the, yeah. pointer. And then I pop a pin through the top line, match it to the bottom line. Also, it's really, really important to get the pointy end of your dart done properly mm. because that's when, when sometimes you see uh, dresses and they get to the end of the dart and then there's a kind of pucker, yes. a back to front pucker. It look a bit like a bubble, can't yes. it, sometimes? And so, so it's really important to, to get the end of your dart very, very clean. Yes. So I start at the widest point. Take my pins out before I get there. And I usually reduce the stitch length, actually, to make it more secure. So I've taken that down to two. Right. And I slow down towards the end. And that pin is just really useful, actually, yep. to point to that dark point. And I can leave that one in, because I'm not going to be sewing yep. over it. And I slow right down and then come off at the dart point, the dot yep. there. You race straight off the end of the fabric. Yes, yeah. I yeah. do. Do you reverse? I don't reverse, okay. no. How do you finish your dart off then? I knot it. Okay. And then, so I, that's finished right on the dart point. Yeah. And then I take my threads. <laughs> if I can get hold of them. And I go, and I'll, knot, I'll knot them together, actually. I either go right over left, left over right and knot them, or I knot them together, pop a pin in, take that down to the dark point yeah. so it doesn't pull it up, and then either snip that off so it's neat or thread it back through the dart so it's completely tidied away. OK. And if then, you were making this in real life, what colour yes. thread would you use? Ah, uh, for this, I think I'd use an off-white. Yeah. Yeah. Because we do, what we always do is we put the wrong colour on the machine so that you can, if we did white, you wouldn't see any of the stitches well, at it all. It shows up nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I think I'd go for off-white. Yeah. So I'm going to sew the darts the way I usually do, which is the way you just said you do. But the other option, because some people find it quite tricky to... That tapering off that I did at the end, some people find that quite, quite tricky to start. start off that way. Do you know what? I'm getting a reminiscent that we were taught to start in the middle and go to the mm. end. But I think... Depends what you're comfortable with. I think and it's I just might time, do. Isn't it? I mean, yeah, probably. and you know, one technique one day and one the other. Yeah. So I've, what I've done is that's my pointy guideline again, yeah. like it was at the end of the horizontal dart. Yes. And I'm going to just put my needle next to the dart point so I can start off. It's the opposite of the tapering off, I'm tapering on. Yes. Like that. <laughs> But go slowly, because otherwise sometimes it, could, it can take the fabric through and chew it, can't yeah. it? Specific techniques is what you're excellent at, Jennifer. That's oh. why I love watching you. Oh. I didn't say that. That was from Anne. That was <laughs> Anne in Cheshire. That wasn't me oh. saying that. That's nice of Anne in Cheshire. Yeah. And then I'm curving around those dark points that were in the waist area. There were two guide points, so they're about here. Yep. And then now I'm approaching the underbust position, and I'm going to taper off like I did on the horizontal dart at that dart point. Now, um, this is me being pernickety now. Go not on, with then. your, not with you. Don't worry. Um, I think the waist is a bit high on that dress. It certainly is on that um, dummy. Have isn't you tried it, it on? Did no, you try it on I home? haven't. No. This is another reason why. So I'm sorry to keep interrupting you like this, but. No, I'd make point, a toile because to me the waist point on this dress is here, mm. which actually oh I, no, I think the waist the waist point is here, but it looks a little bit high on this dress. So what you can do is on your toile you could do the dart in, and if it's not sitting in the right place, there's nothing worse than if your waist is here and the dart's sitting up here. It just looks so wrong. But having measured many many people, shoulder to waist front and back, yeah. it's so key, isn't it? Yes. Especially for a shift yeah. dress. And you could adjust it even yes. by two centimetres and then it also feels great. Mm. Well, you're not as well as looking style. right. You're not doing like this all the time, are you? Yeah. You're so I would press... It down. Right. I would trim all those off. OK, I'm going to leave you to trim that off. And is there, Have you got a technique to press it or...? Uh, using the ham yeah, with right. these I'll come back, don't press it. And, yeah, okay. Don't press it, I've just got to go and do fabrics. 
Okay. So then I'll come back and we can show how to... Have we got, you got the ham, yeah. We can show how you press the, your dart and everything. Is that all right? It's great. OK. I just don't... Right, fabric, 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 fabric. This is the one that Jennifer is using. Right, OK, I'll go quickly through the fabric. And because I haven't shown, told you about the spend and save today, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But so this is the fabric, 695 half metre. Now, remember, it's not as wide as normal, uh, the normal fabrics we sell. This is only 114 centimetres wide. So if you're, you've got a fake, you might not want to make the pattern out of the same people. You might have your own favourite pattern. So I'm just telling you the width now so you can look at your pattern and work it out. Um, it is machine washable. It is 100% cotton and you can tumble dry it on a low, low light. Low light. You don't put a tumble dryer on a low light. That's like your cooker is up on a low light. Oh, nine. Now, did anyone watch Nigella's new series? I listened to her on the radio and I was driving home. One night, oh, was, oh what does it? She, she was... Oh, it's very Nigella, the advert, apparently. But um, she's, she's made this thing last night, which was sounded horrendous, but I can't wait to try it. Poached eggs on, like, yoghurt with chilli. And she said it's delicious, so I wanted to try that, but I didn't see the show. It was only because she was talking on Steve right in the afternoon yesterday when I was driving home. When I was spending hours in the traffic driving home last yesterday afternoon. Six ninety-five, grey flannel fabric from Mad for Plaid. Six ninety-five for half a meter. That's the one that Jennifer's actually made the dress out of, the finished dress out of. I've got three others to show you very quickly. I've got the red uh, plaid, just the straightforward red and white one. The only trouble with wearing a black shirt, you can't, you won't be able to see this at home, but. Every bit of fabric, I do this, a bit more fluff appears on my shirt. Anyway, there's the red, check in red flannel, 6 95 Six pounds and 95 pence. Yeah, you just repeat. God, honestly, Hannah, she's repeating herself, repeating I'll have nothing left to say in a minute. She's saying it all for me upstairs. I think, so, I think Hannah's a... Um, uh, what's it called? A uh, frustrated TV presenter, you know what I mean? I think one day... One day, I'll ring in sick, right? I'll ring in sick, and Hannah can do my show. And then, uh, and because... Oh, OK, we'll be taken off air within two minutes, she says. Here we go. Uh, check in navy. Now, that's navy with a grey. It's got a grey background, that one. It's lovely, isn't it? That, this, is, <laughs> this is Hannah's... Here we go. This is Hannah's call, the midwife look. When she's on her bike, going to the next-door neighbours who are having a baby and she's going to help out because she was a midwife. She's written the script and everything for hers. And who's your... Is there a... I've never watched Call the Midwife, so I wouldn't know. Is there a, is there a hero man that you fall in love with? Oh, no, I don't really need to know the whole... <laughs> she's just gone, well, basically, John, this is what it's about. I guess that's period, isn't it? And it's, Hasn't it got, like, Wendy Craig in it and people like that? Wendy Craig's in it, Jane Ash... I don't know if Jane Ash is in it, but all the, all the oldies are in it, aren't they? Six ninety-five. Check in red and black flannel. Six pounds and 95 pence for half a metre. Now, very quickly, before I go back to Jennifer, because I forgot to just be in the show, I'll do it now. We've got a promotion at the moment called Spend and Save. Now, it's nothing to do with the telly sale. So anything you've seen on the telly, it's nothing to do with that. It's only web shop purchases. It doesn't include sale, anything... That's, I don't think we've got anything in the sale on there at the moment, don't we? Sale, um, electrical... Kits or the something else, uh, or anything that's been on the telly. But what you do is, if you go to, so, for example, um, people are messaging in, you go, oh, I've just been on, and I bought the fat quarters. Oh, I've just been on and bought loads and loads of wadding. Because if you spend over £60 on wadding that's on the website, I haven't got any wadding on the show today, so it's all going to be there, right? You can choose any of it. Spend over £60, you get 35% off. So, so you spent £100, that's £35 off. That's a substantial amount. So you spend £35, you get 15% off. You have to put that code in. Spend £50, you get... That's 25%. That's quarter off there. And then spend £60 or more, you get 35% off. It's only web purchases, though. But we've just had a good idea, right? Hannah did, not me. Right. Uh, there's the website, right? Now, I, we've just said, make a toile, make a toile, make a toile. To make a toile, you need calico. We haven't got calico on the show today. So what you can do is you can go to the shop, you press plain fabrics by length, go along, you see, go, 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 go. Now, go along to your calico. Now, on the web, you can only buy one and a half metres of it, but you can um, at, go to your basket 
and then you, with all your other things, because obviously it's all going to add up. Oh, and the other thing is, it's, it's as the day adds up, isn't it? It's as, as the day adds up. So if you don't spend £35 in one single purchase, it's as the day adds up. So you can put that in your basket. And you better, when you come to check out event at the end, you better put the code in. It's fantastic. Right, OK, we're coming back. Was that it? Was that actually something else while I was there? No, that's it. Right, OK. Let me just move this all out of the way. I've so just moved the book so you get to watch the, that ironing going on here. I press my vertical darts to the, towards the centre, and that bus dart I press down. OK. And I haven't pressed that one down yet. All right. So I'll just shape it over the ham. Now, we had the ham and the sleeve sausage mm. roll yesterday, mm. and I was doing an impression with a cold iron and everything like that, but now we're actually seeing it with the hot iron and how it actually works properly. And I probably use more steam when I'm making... And I'm not here, but I just don't want to fill the room. No, 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 that's fine. It's only because uh, the quilting ladies never used... Our quilting experts very, very seldom use steam. Mm. So the iron's always on non-steam. But dressmaking-wise, I was really shocked when they do steam because we just use steam all the time yeah. when you're making a dress, you know. So those are that way. Those are that way. And this is where you can see that that time spent matching the plaid... Um, when it was just folded fabric and we hadn't even put any paper pattern pieces on, yeah. really pays off because those darts finish in the same place, yeah. which they wouldn't if we hadn't lined it all up at the beginning. So those are finishing there. Yeah. They're also coming in at the same point on that window pane. Yes. Check. And the same with the bus darts there. Yes. Brilliant. And they're finishing at the same point. So it's, it's worth putting in the time to yes, match no, exactly, it all up at the beginning. Exactly. Now, uh, we'll get on because we've got to show how to do the facing. The ham oh, did the ham come in, then? The ham's coming in there. Right, OK, so you don't sew your shoulder seams, would you? Well, no. They, no. I would do mine slightly differently, and I have on the sample. No, no, the, tell they, us your way. They tell show us your a way. really simple method in the, um, in the book, and that is we attach our facings. So I need to do that So next. now, hang on, so this is their technique or your technique? The first bit is both of our techniques. Right, OK. And then the second bit then I do slightly differently. Yes, okay. I do. I just... So if I... Can we look at the picture? Of? Of the way they describe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, just so you know, it's a facing that takes the armholes and the neck hole... Or neck... Neck hole? The armholes and the neckline. The facing is all in one. You're not doing... Because lots of times you do a facing for the neck and a different facing for the sleeves. Yeah, right. so... This is um, great for a beginner in that the last seam you sew is all of those layers together after it's been bagged out. Yep. And then you have a seam allowance inside. But the way I've done it is made sure that there was, it was all hidden away. Right, so that's the way I do it. slightly yes. different. OK, so let's watch your way. Would the plaid be OK for men's pyjamas, says the customer. I think they would, but you haven't got the fluffy on the inside. It's still nice and soft. It's still lovely and soft on the inside because it's cotton. It's 100% cotton. But you don't have to... Oh, you said something rude then. It's only quarter to seven <laughs> in the morning. Not that I could ever say it on air. But it's you, you, against your flesh is not going to be fluffy. The flesh side... It, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? The side against your skin is like a, a lovely cotton, whereas the outside... It's going to be good for you, customer, if you're cuddling up to him when he's wearing them, because you've got the nice flannel on the outside. Right, OK. So, which but bit are you doing? What are you doing I'm first? just uh, pinning the front facing, neck and armhole facing. Right. So you haven't sewn up any side seams or anything in real life yet? I haven't It's yet. still on the flat. Because I want to focus on the facing and I don't know whether I can cover side seams No, 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 no. But facing. in real life, if you're making the dress, yes, have you done the side, side seams before you do this? Yes. Yeah. So, OK, yeah. so you we're imagining you've stitched up the back. You put, have you put your zip in yet at this point? Yes. The zip's gone in yeah, already as well. If you're confident that the dress is going to fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've done the side seams, you've done the back seam, and you've done the zip. So you've yeah. got the basic shape of your dress. So this is the last stage then of finishing the dress off. Isn't yes. It? Yeah. And with pattern matching for the side seams, it's a very similar technique to how I described before of putting, if we put side seam of the back next to the front. Yeah. And I put lots. And I generally have been going by... That white one, I don't know why. Yeah. Sometimes we pick things out that work for us as individuals, don't we? Yeah. And then pinning through, pinning through, all the way up that side seam. Yeah. But because... that's also why I would have drawn the little not little mm. marks on my pattern, so when I've cut it out, I know that they're going to match great as idea. well. Yeah. 
back. Yeah. Sorry. So, so, the hot, so I just wanted to make, didn't, didn't want you at home to think this is the next stage. So you've got the dress, a dress shape with the zip in. You haven't done the hem yet, but you're just doing the facings on the, um, at the top. Right. And the other thing I do, because sometimes you can get little differences between when you've cut out the front of the dress or the back of the dress in the shoulder area, because those are all going to go together, you've got the facings, you've got the outer layer, I always check and then trim if necessary. So I've measured that and yes. it's five centimetres. You have a centimetre seam allowance and a centimetre seam allowance. So that shoulder is actually three, ends yeah. up being three. But what you don't want, and what I find, which is why I measure it and check it, is when you sew them together, that there's even a few millimetres difference and then they'll be really tricky to attach to each other. So I, I check that and then if necessary, because sometimes when you put fusible interfacing on fabric, it can yeah. alter it just well, slightly, also it's can't going to, it? It's going to behave differently to the main So fabric, I, I checked all of those, and they're all five centimetres. But it did involve a little bit of trimming, but yeah. it's worth interfacing. it. Interfacing. It's the soft and light white iron on interfacing that Jennifer's used. Oh, I know that's not the right graphic yet. Sorry. There you go. Two ninety five, there you go, perfect. Right, okay. I think if I focus on because it's the same technique for both sides, if yes. I focus on one shoulder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a good idea. Yeah. So that would be right sides to right sides. So you're just pinning on both sides, the front and the back, but the shoulder seems so but, but oh so I'm saying the dress is made, but the shoulder seams haven't been stoked stitched together yet, have they? No, on with their technique, they're the last thing you do yeah. and you have seam allowances yeah, inside right, through yes, all right. layers. Yeah. But with the way so if we did it their way, we'd sew all the way around here, all the way around there. Yes. But the way I like to do it is to have the facing folded over by a centimetre. Right. Like that. And that's going to end up being inside. So yeah. I fold that back or stitch up to it either. But I think folding back is neater. So I'll do it that way. So that shoulder will belong, I'll just check, that shoulder will belong with, if we go right sides together, Side seams together, so that side and that side would go together. So if I sew just around that armhole, and then have I got time to trim it and turn it through? Yeah, is that you've cutting got, um, it fine? About eight minutes, is that right? Okay. No, nine minutes. You've got nine minutes, but mm. they normally go, no, John, four. Luxury. Nine. Um, Anne says, could you make the dress in jersey fabric? And you can, but not using this pattern. Don't use this pattern for jersey. It, you all, Oh, how, how do you think the Ponte Roma would work? I think it's too stretchy. I do think, you? Yeah, I think because this pattern will have ease in it and mm. the Ponte Roma has got stretch in it. So if you made mm. it in this, it would be too big. I, oh, mm. do you know what? I, what I, would, I don't know what size you are, Anne, actually. What I might do, what I might be tempted to do is make this, if I was a size 18, make it 16. Mm. Pattern from Adjust this. the pattern accordingly. Yeah. yeah. But, 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 no, I, mm. I would, this dress, would look gorgeous in the Ponte Roma. If you remember yesterday, we had the um, Alison Glass pattern, didn't we? And I kept saying, oh, a dressing jersey be lovely, a dressing jersey be like this. Yes, it would work beautifully, but don't use this pattern for it because you need to use a jersey pattern for a jersey uh, fabric. And the other thing that can help to make that really um, accurate is to measure your three a mark with chalk or another marking tool, so that when you're sewing, you know that all these shoulder seams are going to match yes. together. I've turned the facing so, one back, which is not so the method in the book. No, so you see, the, so the side, the actual facing with the with the interface with the interfacing on the seam allowance on the shoulder has been turned back and stitched over, so that's stitched into place like that. So it's going to look a little bit odd at this stage, right? And I'll just go around half of the neck, and then I can clip it and turn it through. How's that? Uh, I'll just explain that something very quickly. Lisa, keep what I'll do Lisa's message after the break. I'll do Lisa's message after the break, actually, because it's a very good tip, Lisa. So don't let that message get lost. Oh, oh, OK, Anne. Um, do you know what I would do, Anne? I, I don't know if there's any left, but the Alison Glass pattern yesterday that went up to an 18 plus didn't it um it was the Alison Gloss jersey it's a knit one that we had just on the show yesterday or 
or you might already have a pattern. But yes, this kind of sheath dress would look lovely in a, in a, in the jersey. So I've just sewn half of the neck because it's the same symmetrical. And I want to show yeah. how they go together. And I'll do the same on this one. OK. Because how long then? Four. Oh, just over four minutes. Okay. okay. Sorry, I don't want to rush you, though. And it's the facing one. OK, that you Diana, you'll see why she does that. Diana doesn't understand why you do that, but you'll, she'll, you'll show her now, won't okay. you? OK, yeah. yeah. Or if we could zoom in on the one I've done, that would be even clearer to... A clearer way to explain it. OK. It's because I don't want a seam allowance okay. sitting what, so, so on the shoulder. So if you do it the way from the book, yeah. you have a seam allowance showing here on yes. the inside, on actually against your shoulder. Yes. Or you'd have seam allowance showing. By folding that one back, the seam allowance is in there, so it's already inside. Just keep watching, uh, Diana. I'm not giving her evils, looking at her, saying, hurry up, hurry up, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so then I would take some time to grade my seam allowances, clip my curves, but I'll yeah. just do the first few so I yeah. can turn it through. So you've done exactly the same on both, haven't you? You've, you've yeah. kept the interface so, side folded back. Yes, by a centimetre, lining up with a centimetre seam allowance yeah. and making sure that they are exactly the same. So they exactly all. The same so when you size. get to that bit, it's lovely when you just know everything's going to match and yeah. it's not so lovely when you try and match shoulders together no. and they're different. <laughs> So I would okay. do that all the way around. I'd yeah. grade my seam allowances. I'd clip all my curves yeah. and then turn, turn the facing to the inside. And would, would you do the same on this one as well? Yes, I would. Well, I haven't clipped this one, but I'll just turn this one through. So our side seams would be sewn together and we put pins through the check to match it. That would be turned all the way in and pressed beautifully flat. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help. Oh, there we go, there we go, I'm coming. OK. There we go, there we go, there we go. So then we've got... So then, when you turn it through, you've got one edge folded back all neatly. Yes. And you've got one edge... And our outside edge... It's got a raw no, our, edge Our on main it. bit of the dress. The facing one is turned back. Yeah. And then we've got... So if we sew our side seams together, so they would be sewn together. It's another imagine if. Yes. <laughs> and then these shoulder seams yeah. are sewn through just the dress layer. Yeah. The facing one is folded out of the way. It is quite a fiddly job. Yes. But so on, on, it's on nice the to have one options. in the book, you'd be just stitching through all of yeah, the layers. All four there, layers. Because yours are tucked away, you've got two yeah, new layers. And then edges. you'd have a seam allowance inside the dress like that yes. if you do it their way. But what I want to do is make everything disappear neatly. Yeah. So then you would, the key to this is folding those out of the way, matching them. I would press them as well. Yes, so that's of course. Nice We're making and, Jennifer rush now, Nice but... and crisp. Yeah. And match those together. Because you know they're going to match perfectly because yeah. you've made sure they are when you and stitch so them. And sew through. Have I got time to sew? How long have we got? Are we cutting it a bit fine? Oh, a minute. <laughs> okay. I'll pin it then. I would sew through no, do it, the do dress it, do it, do it, layers do it. Yeah. and then yeah. that disappears inside. Do, do it, do it. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. I'll, I'll go over there later, don't mind. Okay. I want you to do it because I want you to see I want to see this okay. because um And it is sometimes something that I have to do a second time. It's what sorry? It, it's sometimes if I sew it and I catch a bit of that one. Yes. I might have to sew it a second time. But, but, but in real life, you will have pressed, and that will all be the perfectly press, beautifully pressed. Really pressed. Helps. And the pers pressing really helps because it does. then the insides are tucking away, aren't they? So you yeah. literally stitch along. Matching them. Stitch through. OK, because I've, I've insisted on not going over there. You've got a do minute it, do and it, a do half. It. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> And I will just, I'm just going to sew so it's done, but I would reverse at both ends. Yes, yes, yes. You all right? Yes. You faltered then. then. 
Okay, let's have to see this close to. And then... Oh, hang on. Yeah. Those go inside there. That one goes inside there. That might be useful, actually. Use my Derek the Dobber. Yes, yes. And that one in there. Yeah. And then slip stitch it closed along. Along that line there. I was just going to show a finish one, but I'm not sure I can get one off the stand. Oh, I won't have time, I won't have time. I won't okay, have time, I won't have time. so I, I was going to get that one off, but I won't have time. Trim Shoot. off all the ends and slip stitch that closed. Diana says, very clever, I get it now. Oh, good. Because it was Diana that asked why you did that. But oh. I think it's brilliant because everything's then tucked away. There's yeah. no, there's nothing worse than a, a raw, raw and red. it feels nice. Not nicer. a raw red because you can finish off, but you've got yes. a, your seam lines with all the extras and everything like that. And also, the end of the, of the seam lines could, when you're wearing it, could stick out at the side. So yeah. Whereas on yours, and then you've it's got all that nice away. continuous line. Exactly. You're a marvel. She's back in an hour. Make, oh, now this will be fun. She's making purses in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> She's really looking forward to it. <laughs> Uh, I'll be back in uh, three minutes. Oh, I've got bundles, haven't I? Bundles with a treat. I've got discount. Oh, no, I'm giving you something for free. That's what I'm going to say. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Get yourself a quick cup of tea because you're going to need it because the next hour is going to be fast and furious. We'll see you in three from now. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news and share your own creations with us. To help you have a crafty Halloween, we've got a frightfully good offer for all of you. Delve into our devilishly tempting online range of fabrics and sewing essentials and save as you spend. The offer is simple. Spend on our online shop and save as you go. Spend £35 online and get 15% off with code SQ15. Spend £50 and get 25% off with code SQ25. And spend £60 online and we'll give you a massive 35% off with code SQ35. So, get ready to expand your stash for less. But hurry, the offer only lasts 48 hours and ends when the clock strikes midnight on the 1st of November. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. If you're looking for a seasonal project you can complete before Christmas, look no further. On Thursday the 2nd of November, Jess Entwistle will show us how to make a delightful dove garland. Available in three colour options, our handy kit contains everything you need to deck your halls the handmade way this holiday season. With a helping hand from host Natasha, Jess will show us how to achieve an impressive finished look while using simple techniques. So, join us on Thursday the 2nd of November at 8am for this fabulously festive demonstration only on Sewing Quarter, Preview Channel 78. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Where's that, where's that purpley witch thing gone? Where's the purpley witch? Um, we've got a special deal on at the moment because it's Halloween. No tricks, all treats. Look at this. Spend and save, it's called. That's for two days. It's for all of today and all of tomorrow until 11.59 tomorrow night. I'm, I'm echoing quite badly, Timothy. Uh, so what you can do is... Now, it's, uh, it's nothing that's appeared on the telly. It's only things in the web shop. But it's not, it's not um, 
machinery, nothing electronic, nothing electric, sorry, nothing electric, nothing that's in a sale or... Oh, gosh. Now I've said that, there's another one. No, no, no kits, no kits, no kits, no kits. But, right, come back to me a second, come back to me a second. I just need to tell you about Lisa, right? Lisa in Manchester. She said she's been waiting, she, she, she's a regular Lisa, right? She said, I've wanted more spectrum solids, I've needed some creative grids, and I've needed... What was the third thing she bought? Was it Jersey? Was it Jersey, right? So it's not been on the telly. So she's gone to the web shop. She's bought loads of Spectrum Solids. Now, obviously, it can't be the ones that are on telly, but go to the web shop, right? She's bought Spectrum Solids. She's bought Creative Grid Rulers, and she's bought Jersey, right? She got her, um, the discount. She got the discount by just... Uh, right, have a look at this. So what you need to do is when you buy it, it's web shop only, remember? It's web shop only. So the Halloween Spend and Save, what you do is if you spend £35... You get 15% off. You have to put that code in at the end when you check out. Now, it's, it's a gradual thing as the day goes on. So check out when you check out at the end, when you've added all your stuff up. Spend £50, you get 25% off. Or spend £60 or more, you get 35% off. Just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Ready? She's gone. Right. And I want you, Jay. Jay caught that and that. Right. I've got, oh, I thought there was somebody standing there then. I thought somebody important standing there then. No, over there. Look, it's, it, was the, it was the dress that Jennifer's just made on the stand. I thought somebody was standing staring at me. Right. This house is very important. Very, very important. Now, what I need to tell you is last time I did this, um, phone lines and web lines went absolutely crazy. Uh, because I'm giving you free half a meter in every bundle. So I've got six, one, two, three, four, five, six bundles here. And in each bundle, you get a free half a meter of fabric. So what I'll do is I'll run through them very quickly and then so you can see them, so you can start buying them and then we'll tend our time going through them and everything like that. <sighs> Are you ready? No, not you. Hannah's going, yes, John, I'm ready. Where should we start? Rainbow, big, bright rainbow. Here we go. So you get bright red, you get orange, you get half a metre of all these. You don't need to know the names because obviously they all come in the bundle. The bright pink, the vibrant green, the emerald green. Look at these. Oh, that's a lavender. That's like an ocean blue. Then you've got a mauve mist. Real purple, right? £29 and five metres of fabric. Five metres of fabric, 29.25. I'm giving you the purple one for free. Or any of those, you get one of them for free. OK, you can have the orange one for free. You can have the, you get all of those for 20... Now, they're all saying the colour they want for free now. Hannah wants the red, Tim wants the orange. Um, aren't they gorgeous? £29.25. Uh, now, uh, what I would suggest you do on this one is start checking out your baskets quite quickly, because the last time we did this, it did, we did sell out very quickly. Those gorgeous colours. £29, £25, you get an extra half a metre for free. Next. Oh, OK, which one's that then? This one. Right, now, this one's been named after Hannah for some reason. What have they called it? OK, what have they called it then? Oh, pfft. Producer Hannah's Fabric Picks. Right, so you've got linen look, linen colour, half a metre. You've got linen look, gorgeous. Mustard. And look at all these gorgeous colours. We love them, we love them, we love them. So these are all the linen looks. Now, these only came in a week or so ago because I did the launch of them. Do you remember? Um, I think it was Little Paul. Little Paul. I did it with Little Paul, didn't I, last week? <gasps> look, so you get half a metre free. Four metres, £34.65. pence. Four metres of fabric. You get half a metre, coral, navy, olive, red, steel, sunflower, turquoise and linen. You're getting one of those for free. You're getting one of those, aren't they? Go back, go back, go back. They're gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Look at those. Now, they're not linen. They just, they are linen. They call them linen texture. But they're a Macau uh, solid, obviously. But they've got the linen texture look to them. Oh, fabulous. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Right. 
Moving on. Right, now, where am I going next? OK, this is the one that Hannah put together. She called this her, what do you call it, Celtic Heather? Because she's got a friend called Heather who lives in... in. Who did the ironing? <laughs> Look, uh, who lives in Scotland, did you say? Oh, OK, uh, <laughs> I won't say that. Uh, three metres, 19 pounds and 65 pence. You've got linears in there as well. You get half a metre for free. You're getting half a metre for free. Have a look at the colours. It's called the Celtic Heather Fabric Bundle. You've got berry in linear. You've got green in linear. You've got dark green in spectrum, deep purple in spectrum, grass in spectrum and mauve mist. Not one called Heather at all. Hannah. I'm seeing thistles. I'm seeing a thistle. Look. And me making a thistle look. It's a bit symbolic, not real. Should we have a look at it? No, not like that. The whole thing. Oh, well, that's ruined the moment. There you go, there's my symbolic thistle. Didn't work. <gasps> gorgeous, gorgeous. Half a metre for free. Get half a metre for free, remember? So that one goes there. Uh, autumn leaves? I love the colours, though. Uh, next time you do naming of fabrics, I'm going <laughs> to come in and help, I think. Who, me? That's part of my charm, Timothy. Oh, he's in a right old bitter and twisted mood this morning, Timothy, the director. Uh, look at these. Half a metre for free. Oh, he goes all quiet. When I pick on him today, he goes all quiet. I think he's really upset about something. Morning, John. So excited. I've ordered... <gasps> We see, Laurie has bought the Westerly Ruler on the website, so she'll have got a discount on that. It's only till tomorrow night, remember, midnight tomorrow. Anyway, back to these, I need to see the colours. Now I've still got Laurie's message there now. You get half a metre of each, you get three metres in total, but you're getting half a metre for free. I'm going to guess one's called pumpkins, one called sulphur. And then you've got, in the plains, you've got wine, citrus, yellow and Vienna orange. And thank you, pumpkin and sulphur. I was right. So I don't need the screen at all. So, um, evening leaves, autumn leaves. Autumn leaves. Autumn leaves and you've got spring green in the middle of there. I don't know. Next. Vintage. Haley's very, very, very proud of this one. Linear. Linear Heron, Linear Riviera, I can never say that one. Linear Riviera. Uh, oh, brain. Lichen, lichen, that's a, that's a lichen. That's a tea rose, yeah, that's right. And that's, that's not vanilla, that's ivory, I think, is it? Cream, cream. Zinc, Heron, Riviera. <laughs> you see, poor old Jennifer, you say, couldn't say pistachio, could she? Pistachio, she kept saying. I can't say Riviera. I still can't even say it. Anyway, you get vintage. Get half a metre for free. Half a metre completely for free. £24.75. and Do you know what? I bet Lorraine's in buying these. Lorraine loves a bargain. And it was her birthday yesterday. She'd be spending her birthday money today. I said, are you going out tonight? She went, no, I'm staying at home. The drinks are free at home. <laughs> now, this is Scandi Christmas. Ecru. Scandi stars, uh, ooh. Christmas red, it's either port or, I think it's port, or is it, um, what's the other alcohol, claret, it's either port or claret, grey and spot on grey. Scandi fabric bundle, three metres, 19 pounds and 65 pence, right? Uh, you've got Scandi mini star, you've got charcoal, Christmas red, ecru, port, and then spot on steel. That's nice. Now, all of those lovely... Um, I mean, it's stash building, really, isn't it? It doesn't have to be Christmas. I don't see why that says Christmas, apart from you've got little stars in there. But I like stars all year round, not just at Christmas. Stars are not just for Christmas. They're for eternity. £19.65, half a metre for free. 
So you've seen them all now? You've seen them all now? Right, most popular already. I knew it would be straight away. Rainbow. The rainbow, big rainbow one here. So you're getting half a metre, five metres in total. So only ten past, look, and I've shown you them all. Bright rainbow fabric bundle. So you're getting half a metre, you're getting five metres of fabric there for £29.25. pence. I use a lot of solid colours and always opt for the Macau. Love the colours and always washes up beautifully. As when uh, They wash up beautifully as when I first got them. Thank you, Lisa, my love. She's having a busy day, Lisa, buying and texting and messaging and web chatting. Thank you. It's lovely to hear from you, Lisa. Let's make a picture. All right. Now, again, I did say these hours were a bit like this. Please, please, please check out your baskets. Please check out your basket. Should we, should we make a pretend Bargello? No, it won't be, no, it won't be a Bargello. Oh, I've done that wrong. <laughs> la, 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 la. Make sure you check out your baskets. Lots of you on the phone line. It's lovely to see you all there. Hmm? No, no, stay where you are. You can do what you like. There's no surprise yet. Got a message from Anne. Oh, she's, Anne's just had a text saying, your sewing, her sewing quarter deliveries will be with her within the hour. What have you got? What's in that one, Anne? We'll still be here, Anne, in an hour. Let me know what's in it. Oh, how exciting. It's what? <laughs> yeah, we're not in charge of deliveries. So if it is a bit... No, no, but normally when you get a text to say it'll be with you between 12.23 and 1.23, they normally are, aren't they? You're bored. You're bored of watching me fold fabrics. No. No. I'm making one of these. Oh, I'm so sorry. Imelda, is it Imelda Staunton? Uh, love your presenting, John. But glad you're not on every day. Ooh, cheeky. Oh, hang on, no, no. Love you presenting, John, but glad you're not on every day. I get nothing done. You've got from midday onwards. Imel I love that name, Imelda. What's she going on about? She's got from midday onwards. Uh, also, Hannah said, if any of you don't get your cleaning done during the show, she's happy to come round and do your cleaning for you. <laughs> and if you've got if her house anything to go by, I wouldn't take her up on the offer. No, my cleaner handed a notice in this week. No, she wants because she's gone off to be a gardener. I think what it is is the people. Well, no, I'm not going to say. I think she can earn a bit more money being a gardener than she can a cleaner. That's what it is. No, she, no, Danny's my gardener. Uh, hang on, that goes there. What's Lisa doing today, then? No, Lisa's making a Christmas tree skirt for her daughter whilst watching. Are you copying that one off Facebook? Um, what's the lady's name? Helen. Uh, on Facebook, there's a lady who's got a fancy name. She hasn't got a real name, which is fine, because lots of people don't want to. But then she messages in here. I think she's called Helen. She's made a ball gown, and it's like a Christmas tree. It's fabulous. I'm quite liking this. It's quite therapeutic as well. It's helping me. I've had some weird dreams. Oh, I've had some weird, weird dreams recently. Oh, I've done well. <laughs> I like what I've done, but I've got two left over. <laughs> Hang on. No, no, because I can do it like this, can't I? No, I can't. Oh, oh right, this one here. This one, not this, not this green. This one here, if you've got it in your basket and you haven't checked out, you're in, you could be in trouble. You could be in trouble. I have to do two frames, that's what I have to do. 
after I've done this lovely display. Mind you, you see, none of the others... Oh, yourself. I haven't got this many in, have they? But there we go. There you go. Five metres of fabric, £29, 25 pence. You are getting half a metre for free. Are you liking that? Or are you not liking that? There we go. Oh, apparently it's one of my better designs, Timothy saying. £29, 25 pence. Please, 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 if you've got it in your basket, please check out. Oh, please, please, please check out if you've got that one in your basket. OK. Let's deconstruct. It's lovely, isn't it? It's gorgeous. They're always very, very popular, the rainbow ones. But if you've got it in your basket, you do need to check out. Oh, another update from Lisa's having a very busy morning this morning. Uh, what's the next one? Not the ball gown, which is amazing, by the way, it is, isn't it? I'm making one... Oh, for the base of the tree! Hang on, but she said she was making one for her daughter. Oh, for her daughter's Christmas tree. Oh, got it now. She's making a skirt for her daughter's Christmas tree, not a skirt that looks like a Christmas tree for her daughter. Honestly. Right, that, uh, is that one going to sell out? Or are we all right on that one? It's going to sell out, that one. So if you want... Anna, it's nice. Uh, shall I put it over here? Make sure you check out your baskets on that one. The other big one, this, I love this one. These are the linen. These are the linen effect ones, these. There's no linen in them. There's no linen actually in it. No linens were killed in the making of this fabric. Um... Crystal, that's a lovely name, that. Oh, she sent in a photo. Old. Oh. Right, let's have a look. Oh, and now this is Crystal. She's making a Halloween quilt. That's gorgeous, that quilt, isn't it? She's, oh, I can see the tacking stitch. She's just removing the basting stitches as she's watching the show. That's beautiful. Oh, but look, there's a log cabin. There's a um, tumbling blocks. Then that lovely... Where's which one's the deck of cards? <laughs> Underneath tumbling blocks is that deck of cards. Because then the heart ones looks like a plique. Then you've got... Is that a, 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 a sword blade tooth? What's it called? What's the one I was... Chainsaw? No, what's that one called? Then you've got one with flying geese in it. I love it. That's gorgeous. I wonder how big it is. The thing is, you see, I'm desperate, desperate, desperate to have nice new quilts for my bedrooms. And I really should make it, make them myself. But it's just finding the time. Oh, what? OK. They're having a few more issues upstairs, so I'll just keep waffling away. But you can buy this. Han this one's called Hannah's Picks for some reason. These colours are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Now imagine, imagine those all together in a project. Now you can buy as many of these bundles as you like. You still get half a metre free in every bundle. The only, diff the only thing is, is if you buy this bundle twice, you don't then get a full metre, a full metre, a full metre, a full metre, a full metre. You get two half metres of that, 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 two of like, and so on. But you do get... For every bundle you buy, you get half a metre for free. They're the linen effects. Now, do you know what? The colours, the colours are exquisite. That turquoise is lovely. It's the green sage, did we say? Oh, olive, olive. Really beautiful colours. Look at those. Right, now, these are... Even though they're made by Macau, right... They've got the linen effect. There is no linen in there. It's the print. It's the print. So you know we have the linear, which is the lines printed on. Um, these have got like a linen effect on them. I don't know how, how... I don't know if you can see it on your telly or not. Have a look on the turquoise, maybe. Seeing which one's the best one. I think the turquoise is the best one on, on my screen there. 
They've all got this lovely kind of, oh, there you go, like a mottled, on the grey one, it makes it look like a kind of flannel, uh, but they're all a kind of linen look, but there's nothing linen about them. They're 100% cotton. Oh, hang on. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Sam just said, what's a lovely picture of Jay on Facebook, right? And it's a lovely one of John as well. Uh, I wasn't ready. Hannah, not Hannah upstairs. Not Hannah upstairs. Hannah, who's in charge of um, marketing. She took the picture. Apparently, it's a lovely picture of you on Facebook, Jay. Shall we get it up and have a look at it? We'll have a look. I'll, I'll have a write a veto. Because I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. How are we doing on this one, by the way? Check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. Right. OK. Next. Oh, autumn. Oh, she's got enough piece now. Autumn leaves. Right. OK. Autumn leaves. Right, autumn leaves. Come on, John. One job. Oh, that's another eight. There you go. Autumn leaves. Da, 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 da. Is that a song? Well, that's how all songs start. Someone makes it up, don't they? Yeah, it'll be on, I presume it'll be on the same quarter page, won't it? <laughs> Right, okay, let's have a quick look. Oh, sorry, I thought we were looking at Facebook. No, it's fine, we'll do this. My autumn leaves design. It's a very spiky autumn leaf, that one, isn't it? Oh, you know, <laughs> can you tell which one I don't like the best in that one? It's all hidden underneath there, isn't it? Oh, I like that. I like that. Now, remember, you get half a metre for free. You do get half a metre completely for free. Please check out your baskets, because you are getting now. Because last time we did this, it went absolutely like mayhem. Absolute mayhem. OK. They're called No Trick Only Treats. No, no tricks. Oh, do you know what? I thought they put a picture of Natasha there, then, when I looked up. <laughs> well, it, it wouldn't be Amy, because Amy's got dark hair, hasn't she? Natasha's got ginger hair, hasn't she? Has she? She's got ginger hair, hasn't she? Yeah, gingery blonde. Anyway, are we going to look at the picture? Should we have a look at this picture on Facebook of me and Jay, then? Well, I think, I think we have to see the picture full on. <gasps> Let's have a look. Oh, look at, look at my face. Oh, yes, watch the comments. Be careful of the comments. There might be something rude on there. Jay looks really cute. One of you, what, say? One of you looks... John White at Grumpy, because it's Halloween. Who said that? Heather. Who else has messaged in on that, then? Yeah, she's read, just reading names out now, not the messages, obviously, the messages. Don't worry. Don't worry. You don't want to see what? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, we don't see full names in there, do we? No, of course not. Why am I grumpy? We're standing next to Jay. Make anybody grumpy. He had what? Yeah, he had his Halloween mask on all day yesterday as well. That's his mask, that's not what he looks like. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, let's make... Um, let's make... Oh, hang on, how can I do this?
What, what do? Oh, well, Toby um, blanked me yesterday. Kim. Liv. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Making art here. Well, you try and make a this lad to pick the fabric you're not allowed to cut. Yeah, the thistles have balls on the top like that. Oh, Edwina, morning, John. Can you make an origami swan with them? I'll have a good go. I can do that one with a towel, the party trick with a towel that goes like that, but I don't think I'm allowed to do that on telly, would I? Um, Edwina, oh no, I've read, I've read that one from Edwina. Sorry. Sorry, I've got one from Anne, have I? A technology these days, so quick, isn't it? Okay, Sean's on the 28th and 29th of October. Super service. Lame silver threads. Threads, you mean ribbon? Okay, threads. Fat quarter booklet. Fa fancy square panel fabric. Lewis and Irene a mouse fabric. Oh, blimey, iron on bias tape. Sashko templates. This wasn't my show. I didn't do it. I haven't done any of these. Anne. Anne Wadding. It's all arrived. My thistles haven't quite come out as I wanted them to. They, oh, they're quite modern, though, aren't they? You can go to that one, then. Oh, sorry, no. No, maybe not. These need to be a bit spikier, but I'm not allowed to cut the fabric. If I could cut the fabric and tear fabric, I'd have a whale of a time. I don't know how to do an origami. Uh, hang on, can I do an origami swan? Hang on, let me think. No. What was the one we... Every, everyone used to be able to do one at school, didn't we? What was that? Didn't you do that at school? No, horse riding was a Wednesday afternoon, Hannah. Don't be silly. Would do origami at the same time as you're doing horse riding. I don't mean in a lesson. I mean in the playground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Catherine sent a lovely picture in. You have to send the picture in by email, by the way. Oh, she sent a hopscotch quilt as you go. She bought four packs and made a whole quilt. Oh, oh, look at this. What, sorry, Hannah? Fits a king size bed. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, look at all the fabric. She put an extra border on it. Um, that's um, Joel Jubry, isn't it? Atrium, there's the atrium, and there's the lovely one with it. The... That looks gorgeous. That's really lovely. Lovely calming. Oh, now. So, how many did she buy? Four or six? Okay, she bought four, right? What you could do now to take advantage of our um, spend and save Halloween, right? You can go to the... Here, look, let's see. Go to the website now, because it's not anything that's been on the telly. It's nothing on the telly. So what you could do is you go to the website. You could buy your four or five quilt as you goes. You could buy your fabrics and get a discount. If you went to over 60 pounds, which you would do if you bought five quilt and goes. How much are quilt and goes? About 10, aren't they? 12 pounds. Yeah, yeah, it depends which one you get. Five of those, that's 50, or six, or four of those, sorry, so that'd be 48 pounds or so up there, plus your fabric, you'll get your 35% off. Can't be anything that's on the telly, can't be a kit, it can't be a kit, and it can't be anything electrical. Brilliant. Sarah, from here or you? OK, email from Sarah. We've oh, got a picture. Morning, honey. Oh, look, she's got the, novel, the novelty advent calendar. What's in the background? Oh, me in the background. I was looking, I was looking at the mess on the shelves. 
Oh, look, there I am, look. Oh, I look quite slim on that picture. That's because you're far away. Oh, look at that lovely advert. Those, they're so lovely, those advent calendars, aren't they? But before we go anywhere, let's have a look what's on the shelves then. Is the paint? Is that paint? Oh, no, it's a paint. Oh, it's a can of paint with all her 505 in it, look. Is that, is that a fire extinguisher at the back? Scissors. Oh, look at that. There's me sense. And her creative... Oh, stripology. I can see a stripology in the back. Uh, she says the delivery is brilliant. Just received a parcel. Content... Containing all the, oh, 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 wait. She's just got the kit. I've gone, I've gone, I've gone. Oh, no, it's not here. Oh, it's been moved. I'll come back, I'll come back now then. Oh, no, there it is. She's just got the kit for this. Oh, I, I know, isn't it beautiful? She's just got the kit for that Bargello. Uh, oh, look. Now, the kits, the kits, the kits, the kits, you can't use the Halloween special for the... In fact, I don't think... I think that kit sold out on the day anyway. Isn't it gorgeous? Jane Alcock made that look. Isn't that... It's lucky, you see, I said it was going home to my house, and it's lucky I forgot it, wasn't it, so I could show it there. Anyway, sorry, what was the message? Carry on with the message. OK, make sure the ghosts and the something don't get me on the way home. Uh, this is the prop problem with... Bogies, the bogies. That's a bogey, though, isn't it? Why would that get me on the way? Anyway, thank you very much, and you'll love, you'll love, love, love your jewel Bargello. Should we get back to this, then? Scandi? No. Yes, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. I'll make some of this one. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. Um, Oh, Lisa sent in a picture now. Oh, yes, yes. It's her wearing a Christmas tree skirt. It's the tree. Oh, 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 I love that, Lisa. Have a look. Have a look. Look, it's Christmas trees. I bet your Christmas... Applique using purple and green. Can't see any green. It's the watch, or what? Oh, she did the Mandy... Yeah, she, she used the Mandy Shaw techniques, which she showed you how to cut it at the weekend, which was brilliant. She's going to press, quilt and blood bind. That's lovely. Can you imagine how posh her Christmas tree, if that's just a Christmas tree skirt? Ooh, that's nice. Do you know what? I'm going to have great fun here, aren't we, when we get people sending in pictures of their Christmas trees because everyone's going to be so creative and artistic. We used to get them sent in where we used to work, and sometimes you'd go, ooh, OK, fine, you put that in your house, do you? But I bet all of yours are going to be gorgeous. Yeah, wait till Hannah's Hawaiian one comes in. Hawaiian one with a budgie on the top. Look, it's Gandhi. Kind of done Scandi Mountains. Could you not see that? What did you think it was, Hannah? Okay, she thought it was little, little Paul. Whenever little Paul goes out, he's just, he's such a. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? What word am I going to use where he's a bit of everything, like a hodgepodge of so many different styles and everything, isn't he? Because he comes in wearing his little denim jacket, you know, like kind of mincing in. So when he goes out in the evening, he has a lovely jacket on, right? And he always puts a, a top pocket in his, you know, like a silk pocket square, yeah? Oh, hang on, Jean. Just blimey, Jean. Um, she says, I've just bought £54 worth of bits and pieces I wanted for ages and got 25% off. Uh, delighted. That's from S So Jean. Oh, I wasn't going to say the last bit because that was her surname. Yeah, So Jean. Thank Jean. See, it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely. Now you can only buy it from things on the web. Just so you know. Fifty-four. Okay, there we go. There we go. This is the Scandi one, anyway. It's called Scandi Christmas, but it's just gorgeous for your stash, isn't it? And then I'll move on to the vintage. Right. Uh, I could just put my face, couldn't make my face out of vintage, couldn't I? Da, 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 da. They're all linear prints, that's it. 
Yeah. This is my face in vintage. Are we going to look at them? There you go. Can you not see it? There you go. My face on vintage. <laughs> yes, I mean, oh! No, no, I've got to give it back. The interesting. It's gone back to it. Right. Oh, oh, nurse. Oh, nurse Julie, how are you, my love? Uh, uh, resting before the. Oh, you're back at work. Back at work. Resting before a night shift. Nothing gets done here while you're on. That's from Nurse Julie. Oh, Julie. You see, we should appreciate our nurses and doctors and people that work hard more, shouldn't we, than we do. Oh, right, now, Lisa, Lisa, I just said Lisa's going to have to have a, have a posh tree, didn't I? So let's have a look. Purple and grey is her Christmas tree is, not green. And the daughter's got a white tree with purple, silver and black ornaments. Blimey. I was going to get a pink tree this year. Oh, they're not here. <laughs> I was going to say, they're made by the same people as these, make these trees, but they're all over there, aren't they? Who's going to put it all back? Because I'm certainly not. Yeah, but Jay can't pick them up. Me and Hannah start to stay late to do it all. No, I'm not today. I'll let little Paul do it in the morning. No, Hannah's got to go to classes today. Haven't Hannah's, no, no, Hannah's learning, uh, learning how to, well, I just think you already knew how to do it, didn't you? Screen print, you're doing screen printing show. So, at, sh at lessons, so, not a show. You'll have to do a show at the end of term, though, won't you? We'll all have to come along. Um, she's done meat. She's done a cactus. She did uh, ripped fabric. And haven't you done four lessons? Uh, with the, oh, she's only shown us four things. They're lovely. She's putting herself down now. They're really, really lovely. Oh, no, that's not good. They just tell her to do whatever she wants. Oh, no. That could end very badly, couldn't it? This is the Vintage bundle. No, 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 that's just uh, geometric lines in Vintage. Yeah, you see this here, right? This, this is one, um, this, uh, that's Riviera Blue. Um, Hayley put that one in. That's, I think, the one you're getting for free, you see. I'll put that one there. Because remember, you're getting half a metre for free. You see, they look lovely together, don't they? No, not, in fact, those, these three look gorgeous. Look at those three together. They look nice, don't they? They look gorgeous. And then, oh, actually, look, you could get th two completely different looks from the same bundle. So there's that, this one here, and then this one here. £24.75. Remember, you do get half a metre for free on all of these bundles today. Right. Now, let me... Do, I might have to do a quick recap because the stock is whittling away. I know. I know. Let me... Oh, just so you know, at the moment, the rainbow bundle, which is sold out... Oh, that's because of my Heather picture, I think. The Celtic Heather one is in the lead at the moment, apart from, uh, like, the rainbow one, because that sold out straight away, didn't it? I'm surprised the linen effect one... I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the linen effect one. I, I know, I know. I don't think you can see just how gorgeous those colours are on your telly. Which one should I do, then, first? The linen one, because I was talking about that. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't like my design of the linen one. Maybe you didn't like my fan, and maybe I have to do a better one. Can you see the textures in here? It's not actually a textured fabric. Oh look, yes, you can. There you go. Their linen look, right? They're no linen in the hundred percent cotton, but they've got that linen effect. The thing is, you can only just see it a little bit on your telly at home. Do you know what you should do? If you can pop over to the website or pop onto YouTube, you'll see it really beautifully on there. Do 
They're gorgeous, aren't they? We, you've only ever seen this once or twice so far because it's a, a new launch of uh, colours, this. Olive, that's this one. We'll do a design. Because I think this one, I love this one. I, this whole array is just gorgeous. So you've got olive. Then you've got this one, which is called linen. Then you've got this one, which is called sunflower. Then you've got this one, which is called coral. Oh, right. We've got a lot of people just buying half a metre of one. Maybe it's because you've never seen it before and you're thinking, oh, just have a look. If John likes that, I'll just have a quick look. Oh, hang on. Fair enough, that's up to you. Do you know what? I know it might be fun watching me, but you know what you should be doing? You should be going on the website and buying your creative grids, your westerly rulers. Uh, what else would I buy? Wadding, uh, stash fabrics I haven't got here. Only because you're getting your, your, your discount. If you just tuned in, we've got this fabulous, fabulous, um, um, uh, what's it called? Promotion. Promotion going on. Um, it's called Spend and Save. It's only until midnight tomorrow night, and it's only things on the website, which I was just listing other things. Do you know what? Oh, I'll just do this, right? Spend £35, you get 15% off. Spend £50, you get 25% off. Spend £60, you get 35 But you spend £100, that means you get £35 off. Um, but it's only things available on the web. web. Not electricals, not kits, nothing in the sale, and nothing that's been on the telly. So can we just go? Can we just go to the page, right? Right, uh, go to shop. Right, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, is it there? Is that a guy's own one? Oh, go to Liberty. Now look, all the Liberty fabrics, brand spanking new Liberty fabrics in there. Oh, that's oh, so gorgeous. That's the Ricardo, isn't it, that one? Oh, it's moving now, so how come it's moving? Oh, you did that. I thought that's what it did when you went on the page. I went on the page last night because Davinia wanted some fabric that we'd had and been sold out. So I was just helping Davinia choose some um, different fabric on the web. So the Liberty fabric, you can get that in, the, in this special promotion. Go to, cut, go to scissors and cutting tools, please. Go to rotary cutters. Let's have a look at rotary cutters. The thing is, it doesn't have to be on one thing. So you could buy a couple of metres of fabric, get yourself a new rotary cutter. Now look, you see... Because it's, what would you get? Which one would you get, though? Which, she said, I'll get that one. There's nine or 12 of them on the screen. I'll get that one, she said. Oh, yes, now, oh, yes, were you in, was it yesterday, Sunday, Joy was in, and somebody put the blade in wrong, and she wouldn't, she didn't start, wouldn't start the show until she sh said, somebody's put this blade in wrong, I'll show you how to put it in properly. And good for Joy, say I. Waddings, go to Waddings. It'll be under Wattings. There, it says... It but look, now, all those Waddings, right? Now, we've got a wool batting... Well, first of all, there's, there's, there's all the quilters quilt, 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 quilt go. Oh, look, they range from 8 11 95 there. Um, look at all the Waddings right now. Even if you've not got a project going on at the moment, you can pop in and buy one of those. You see, that, what's that one you're clicking on there? King size warm and right, how much is it? 42.95. So that automatically goes into the one over 30 pounds, doesn't it? But if you bought that and a rotary cutter, takes you into over 50 pounds, you get more discount off there. And then over 60 pounds, you see, but, oh, hang on, look, there it is, there it is, look. Yeah, put that there so you can just see quickly. So you spend over £35, you get 15% off. Over £50, you get 25% off. Over £60, you get... So as I say, if you spend £100, you get £35 off. Um, right, now, I need to also just say... Can you go back to the wadding? Sorry, the wadding page gone. It's gone. No. Only because Joy did on Sunday... Joy did these gorgeous quilts and she put a wool batting in the middle, right? The wool batting. Now... It, I don't want to say it's, it was pricey, but it was more expensive than your other 
Um, where is it? No, it's in a tube. It's an heirloom. It's one of the heirloom ones. Washable world. That's not what we have, but there's washable world king size there. Look, so that's 79. Oh, 79.95. So you're going to get is it 35 percent off that if you buy that. 35 percent off. And and if you're thinking, oh, I want some of that wadding. For, even if you're not doing the project now, think of how. Think buy all your wadding now. I know it's difficult to stash under the stairs cupboards. The best place, isn't it? Stack it all up under the stairs cupboard, right? And um, does Harry Potter live in the understairs cupboard? Oh, what well, is that where you've got Harry Potter in your understairs cupboard? Okay. Anyway, buy it now. Buy it now and get because it's only things off the web. It can't be th can't be any of these. You can't get any off any of these because you're already getting half a meter for free. Blimey, we're giving things away, don't we? Half a meter for free. Have a look. I've done my picture. Yeah, you have to do a frame. You have to frame it properly. Oh yes, that's nice. So ish. I don't know what pattern I'd call that one. But if I do that, you don't get to see the beige one underneath. Or the lit, that's good. Half the stock of this bundle has been checked out. I knew it would be. It's very, very popular. Carrie Ann. Isn't that a song? Eee, Carrie Ann. John, you're cheering me up. My sewing machine has just broken down. Oh, Carrie Ann. No, the machines aren't included. I mean, all, by all means, come and buy one, Kerry Ann, because they're fantastic machines, but they're not included in the in the um, in that deal. Oh, Kerry Ann, what's the matter with it, Kerry Ann? Because Auntie Alma's is playing up, and I sort of I could um, I said I'd go and sort it out next time I was up there. Old Auntie Alma be watching. Yes, yeah, she'll be up now. She'll be watching. She lives in uh, Cheltenham, posh Cheltenham. Yeah, she's leaving me a million pounds. She said. She hasn't got a million pounds, but she's always promised to leave me a million pounds. <laughs> anyway, let's fold those up. H over half the stock of that's gone. Over half the stock of that's gone. Well, I'll just add it to all my other millions of pounds. They say, what would you do with your million? If wish, I wish. I keep getting texts from the bank, keep thinking I'm popular. It's texts from the bank and you're overdrawn. <laughs> like, yeah, no, thanks. You have to remind me. Oh, I'm going to have to move that stand. It's frightening. <laughs> I, I keep thinking something. You know when somebody's standing like that, watching you, right? You can't see the dressmaking stand. Actually, I'm going to do it now. She's gone now. She's gone now. I've thought that's a problem. It's Jay's problem now, not mine. No, no, she's standing there between the trolleys. It's fine. Jay's um, filing system that's going on over there. <laughs> anyway. Oh, all right, all right. I've faulted off, faulted off, faulted off. Followed by what? Oh, no. Hang on then. So, you might have, Timothy, you might have. I haven't. Right. This bundle of the most popular, after the brightly coloured one, the rainbow one, which sold out a long time ago, there's this one, which is. Um, Hannah put this one together. Celtic Heather Fabric Bundle. It's gorgeous. It's a bit messy the way I folded it up, isn't it? But uh, that's my bad, nobody else's. Uh, 19 pounds and 65 pence. Ah, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Heather, dear John, you're on kitchen window sill. Oh, so I can cook as well. I can't miss you, love. Gail, Heather. Now, are you really Gail or are you really Heather? Because Hannah got very excited because we were doing the Heather bundle. Um, now, if I'm on the kitchen windowsill, have you got me on the iPad or something? Only because I, I always, what I don't like right now, I'm going to offend a lot of people now, is you know when somebody's got a lovely bay window or a lovely front window and they put a telly, big telly, right in the window, right? Not that I can't see into their house because that's... But no, no, but if it's on the windowsill, right, you're, you're going to... What I don't like seeing is the back of the telly. If I'm walking past, I want to be able to see into your house to have a look at what's in the house. I don't just want to see the back of a telly. Oh, I'll tell you what's like. Yes, no, my mum and dad, in the, in the autumn, like this, after you put the clocks back, used to go for a walk, because all the people where I lived, they used to live, we used to live in this part of Chester where everybody was... Um, everyone would leave the curtains open, especially at Christmas when the trees were up, and it was who had the most trees, who had the most colourful trees, who had the most trees in their garden... Um, but you go for a walk and everybody would be able to look into everybody else's house. I know. 
Anyway, that's it. Carrie Ann, when you fix Auntie Alma's machine, pop in and see me. I live just down the road from Cheltenham. Oh, the bobbin winder won't work. Uh, she's in Leckhampton. Are you near Leckhampton? Um, uh, now, bobbin. Have you de-clutched? Have you double de-clutched? And have you pushed the thing across? And what else could it be? Have you got the thread going through the right bit? Check all those first, and then I'll come round. Okay, um, now this is a very, very popular bundle. People multi-buy. It's lovely. Can you imagine, you know those, um, what do they call them? Like those, like collage pictures. I can imagine Tilly Rose Vintage, right? Making um, frayed edged thistles. I can't do it because I'm not allowed to rip the cut the fabric, am I? But you know she makes her pictures with a bit of stitching and frayed edges and everything like that. I can imagine her doing like a, a country scene. Te textile art, that's what it's called. I can imagine her doing a picture, a literal picture of thistles and Heather, oh yes, I was making thistles, wasn't I? It's actually Heather. Oh, if, sorry, if it's Heather, oh, that's why I got it wrong. Sorry, I was doing thistles. Why was I doing thistles? And it is very thistly, isn't it? I'm gonna do a bit of my own um, texture art now. Anne May's messaged in saying, Oh, come on, John, my sewing machine packed in yesterday too. Thank goodness you're there to cheer me up. What's the matter with your machine, Anne May? We should have a, a sewing machine, um, you know, like a... Not a problem, <laughs> That's not what I was thinking of at all. And, you know, like a phone-in, a phone-in, um, you know, surgery. Sewing machine surgery, that's what we should have. If I could say it, that'd be even better. Right, OK, let's do Heather. This is Heather on the Moors, right? Textile art. Oh, hang on, I need to turn it round your way. One of the what? They're not hills. There's a heather, this is heather. No, this is the, this is, there's a, that's the branches of the leaves. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what kind of hills they've got where Hannah lives. He like buzzard. She doesn't live there anymore, so it's fine, I can say that. And her mum and dad have moved as well. Well, they had to, didn't they? There, that's my... Now you have to come in close and just show a little section of it. Oh, it doesn't work as well on telly as it does in real life. No, that just looks a mess on telly. I'm ever so sorry. If you squint your eye... Squint your eyes at it. Doesn't it look like Heather? Oh, Maria Angelica. Love watching the show. Great projects and tutorials. Love John's presenting. He's a breath of fresh air with his witty humour and jokes. Maria Angelica. No, Angelica, I love you. Maria Angelica. Maria Angelica. What a lovely name. What nationality do you reckon that is? Greek, I'm thinking. Greek? No? Maria Angelica? Would you say it was Greek? I might be completely wrong. She might be from, good morning. Oh, John, you do cheer me up and I'm stitches listening to you. Veronica, you're meant to be making stitches. No? All right, then. Uh, good. I'd love to go, the, uh, I'm in the autumn years of my life, aren't I? Right, Jay. Jay, this needs to be tight. Thanks, Jay. Right, okay, autumn. No, Jay caught it. Didn't you? Thank you. They're all blaming me. Look, there he is. Look. Thank you. Don't scrunch it up, though, Jay. OK, have a look at this one. This is Autumn Leaves. Autumn Leaves. Jennifer will know. What's the song, Autumn Leaves? Do you know the song, Autumn Leaves? No. All right, then. Anne May says, John, the top thread keeps breaking and the bobbin thread keeps tangling. Anne May. And May, you need a new machine. Get the 680. I don't know. Top thread creeps breaking and the bobbin thread keeps dangling. I think you need a new needle and your tension needs sorting out. Don't you think? Yeah. Tension. Yeah, Jennifer agrees. Tension. I mean, I, can't, I don't know without seeing it. I'm just guessing, aren't I? Oh, I've oh, only got a couple of minutes. Oh, it's just... OK. Thank you. There is a song called Autumn Leaves. Who sang it? 
Eva Cassidy. See, I knew there was. I don't know what, how it goes. I'll have to listen to it afterwards. Oh, and Eric Clapton did it as well. Won't be the same. Oh, was it the same song? Well, play it. Play it in my earpiece for me. No, and I'll sing along. Nine, Nat King Cole's done it. It's like, Nat, Nat King Cole, that's the one I know. That's the one I know. I can, he I can hear his voice, yeah. I can't really, I'm just saying. Scandy, Scandy, Scandy. No. Oh, Sheila, you're gorgeous. John dot, 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 Scott. The best presenter ever. Um, shut up. Thank you, Sheila. You're very sweet. Sharp, sharp. Um, I was going to say something. All these bundles, all these bundles, you get half a metre for free, remember? Half a metre for free. Right, don't go anywhere, because Jennifer Mills is up now. Now, this is where you could see Jennifer Mills lose her temper, because... Oh, she's pulling the face out. I don't lose my temper, John. She's making gorgeous little purses, but it's lots, of, lots of this. There'll be a lot of this. And with me jabbering in her ear, she, I could get a slap. That's all I'm saying. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you watch the adverts or you go and make yourself a cup of tea because it's my last break. I'm going home at 12 o'clock and I am going home at 12 o'clock today. If Bex thinks I'm doing voiceover today, I am not. I'll see you in three from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. To help you have a crafty Halloween, we've got a frightfully good offer for all of you. Delve into our devilishly tempting online range of fabrics and sewing essentials and save as you spend. The offer is simple. Spend on our online shop and save as you go. Spend £35 online and get 15% off with code SQ15. Spend £50 and get 25% off with code SQ25. And spend £60 online and we'll give you a massive 35% off with code SQ35. So, get ready to expand your stash for less, but hurry, the offer only lasts 48 hours and ends when the clock strikes midnight on the 1st of November. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. If you're looking for a seasonal project you can complete before Christmas, look no further. On Thursday the 2nd of November, Jess Entwistle will show us how to make a delightful dove garland. Available in three colour options, our handy kit contains everything you need to deck your halls the handmade way this holiday season. With a helping hand from host Natasha, Jess will show us how to achieve an impressive finished look while using simple techniques. So, join us on Thursday the 2nd of November at 8am for this fabulously festive demonstration only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Right, that's it. That was Halloween. Now, I just put this on. I said to Jennifer, oh, I'm so... <laughs> uh, Imagine if I have a Madonna moment. Do you remember she had a cape like this, didn't she, in that thing? And she undid it like that, and the oh, like that. Do you remember? That's Wendy's. Thank you, Wendy, for bringing the thing. Thank you. OK, the graphics are broken with all that, so let's go straight over to Jennifer. <laughs> 
You're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll start the show. We have, I can't tell you what we're selling because the graphics aren't working. While we wait for the graphics, we're going to make some purses, aren't we? We are, indeed. Well, you are. Yes. Um, when you get... I'll show you all the purses kits in a second, but the instructions come... Oh, let me oh, take sorry. the needle out. Yeah. Inside the handle, the purse in each of the kits. I'll show, you, I'll show you the kits in a second when the graphics are working. So you get one of these instructions with... That's the, the pattern there, with written instructions. Well, now, these are different to the Joe Carter instructions, but if you've got the Joe Carter instructions already, you can also do her way of making it as well to fit these. So, so there's two different ways. If you've already got Joe's, then that's fine. And then, and then if not, then you can just follow Jennifer's uh, rules on this one. OK, so we've just got to stay with us and make these because none of the graphics are working. Okay. So you've got to entertain us for a whole hour now. Super. Off you go, then. Right. Where do you start? So you open the bag yes. with, the, with the clasp in. You do. And each of the clasps has got its own instructions uh, in terms of this outline here in bold. I keep talking, keep talking. And a measurement from there to there. So, these are three little ones that Jennifer's made here. OK. Oh, OK. Oh, sorry. It's me looking at the preview, but we can't go anywhere. These... You can't see this. There's no point in showing those. Carry on. Sorry. OK. So, it's um, a really great introduction to pattern cutting great techniques. Great introduction to a show as well, isn't <laughs> yeah, it, really? to pattern cutting techniques. OK. Because you can take it in so many different directions. You can add pin tucks. But it's quite nice when you're learning something new, if you're new to pattern cutting, to work in miniature. Yes. And some of the same principles, like um, flaring a skirt, are exactly the same as I've done from drawing around that bold line on the instructions and then making it so it has more volume. Uh, Tim's here now, so we can do close-ups Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so s very similar um, techniques. Yes. Um, funny you should say about doing miniatures, because when we learnt how to do period... Um, period cutting, mm. uh, we did it on a quarter stand. Yeah. And a quarter stand is much smaller than you think it's going to be, mm. isn't it? Because you think, oh, quarter that looks, size. Everything looks cute, But it's like it? that big, isn't yeah. it? It's just, and, but that's how we learned to pattern cut yeah, to begin so with, before we made it for people. We used to make it for a quarter and stand. And you can kind of... It's a, it's a manageable size. That's why I'm saying this is, this is a lovely... You can use just printer paper. Yes. Or pattern paper, yeah. whichever. And, and just uh, play around with it. And I've kept it very simple. So this is, you know... a. It doesn't have lots of volume. It's just like a really flat, little, simple purse. But that's based almost on that template. like an old-fashioned lipstick. You know, yeah. when they just, just went out and just took their lipstick with them, yeah. didn't need anything else. It's that kind of old, little old-fashioned purse like that, isn't it? Yeah. Are the graphics working now? OK, right, I'm going to stop you. OK. Because I've got to show everyone what we're actually selling this, this, this hour, and then I'll come back and do all of this. So Great. don't do anything. I won't be long. Okay. I'll do it quickly. Right, so we've got two lots of purse clasps. We've got this one here, which are the silver ones. You do get different sorts of silver in it. You get four clasps. It could be better when I'll show you the, um, the picture of those. £17.99. pence. Now, as you can see, you get four silver purse clasps in there. Oh, I've lost everybody upstairs completely now. Oh, no, they're back now, they're back now. So what you've got is you've got, like, a dark silver one with hearts on it. That's the little one. Then you've got two of the same shape, which are the big one, but one's in a dark silver and one's in a bright silver. And then a little, little coin purse one, which is more circular. Now, as you can see, in each packet... I see there on the, on the sill. In each packet is the template for making the purse for that purse shape. So that's the silver one. Then I've got... Uh, now, it's a large bundle. I have to pick these up in two, in two lots because... Um, so, you've got this one. Right, that's the antique one there with the lovely kind of very... Uh, it looks Edwardian almost, that, doesn't it? But in that same kit, you also get these four as well. Four smaller ones, but they're in, like, a kind of brass and gold finish. They're not real gold, obviously. They're all antique colours and everything. £28.49. And, and there's the picture. Five of those, £28.49. and pence. Right, now, what we've done very quickly is we've done four Tilda bundles for you. 
Uh, now, you can have way too much fabric to make the purses, but just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bundles. Um, shall I start with plum? So you get half a metre of uh, leaf berry. You get half a metre of... Oh, sorry, you haven't seen it. Half a metre of mini. Then you get half a metre of the spot on. You get half a metre of the deep orchid and you get half a metre of the grey. Two and a half metres for £26.99. OK, that's the plum one. That's the plum one. Next. Sage, which is this one. This is lovely. Again, you get the sage at leaf berry. Berry leaf, leaf berry. You get the sage firework. I'll just wait for you to come in. There you go, that's the leaf berry. That's the sage firework. Then you've got that lovely mauve spot on. Pistachio green and mauve mist in the spectrum. Half a metre of each, £26.99. OK. Blue next. Hannah, have you switched me off? OK. Blue berry leaf. Blue, this is... I love this. Blue Minerva. Half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. Uh, then you've got uh, the um, antique blue, antique pink, and the vanilla. Vanilla. Half a metre of each, that's the linear, the vanilla one at the bottom there. And last but not least is the sea greed. You get sea greed in red. You get now, I think that one was sea greed in dove white, I think that was called. Then you get the true red linear. Then you get the beautiful blue and pink. That one is, I won't say calypso, candy floss. Isn't it lovely? That bundle there for £26.49. Right, now we're going back and we'll do some sewing and making. Right, so, how do you start? How do you physically start? So, they give you this bold line as your template. OK. And I drew that onto a piece of paper. Yeah. And then from there down, it's entirely up to you how big you make it, whether it has a boxed bottom. So... They're really keeping it very, very simple. So, so as, long as, you, you the as top. long as you use that top mm. shape, yep. you can do whatever you wanted beyond the yep. clasp there, couldn't you? Curve it or make it long and slim, suitable for sunglasses but you or could something. But you could make... Not, not, you, could make that, just, you, know, you could make that into a carrot if you wanted to. You know, if you go to a fancy dress party, you could do it in orange fabric coming down to a point like that. You could. A little carrot purse. Yeah. Not to put carrots in. Not like Hannah's potato bag. Not a carrot purse for carrots. I'm then. just thinking, because I, I went to a party many, many, many years ago as a carrot. Did you? Well, can I tell this story? It was, it was actually, we were doing the Rocky Horror Show in the theatre. I wasn't in it, I was doing the costumes. And we had a kind of party. No, no, carrot wasn't in Rocky Horror. We, went, we, we, we had, went to a party afterwards, and it was like a themed party around Rocky Horror. So I went to the party just to see through Mac, right? Nothing else, just to see. Just to see through Mac. Anyway, I got to the party and I've been there about 10 minutes and suddenly, like, the see through Mac started doing condensation. Oh, no. Because it starts it's cutting, steaming up. And, and I thought, I can't spend the whole party <laughs> wearing just a see through. Nothing to do with the fact it was a see through Mac and I had nothing yeah, else on. Just... But the fact that it was getting, and I was coming out in spots, it was like I'd been in a sauna. <laughs> so I ran back to the theatre, ran upstairs into the stock room, and the first thing that I got to, was a carrot costume. Great. So I put a carrot costume on, but in those days I used to own some um, thigh-high leather boots. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting worse, this story, isn't it? So I put the thigh-high leather boots on, the leather shorts, and then the carrot costume went... I'll bring in a picture, it's easy. I'll bring in a picture. Wow. <laughs> and not of the see-through... Oh, no, I've got a picture of me in the see-through rack as well, actually. Anyway, sorry. I, I don't, don't know, know where to... we went with that. I don't know how to follow that <laughs> <laughs> with purses. Oh, yeah, you need... <laughs> You need a handbag when you're dressed as a carrot. This would be perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where that one came from. <laughs> OK. okay. So, so, um... I've shocked her now. <laughs> what do you make it, then? I'm going to show how I came up with this shape. OK, brilliant. Because okay. I thought... So, so, if you're going to do that, talk me through this one. So, on this one, you'll have just drawn round the top yes. of there and then drawn a really little sweet shape around the bottom. Yeah. And just... Done it then the um, technique of making because it. Because I wanted place. it symmetrical, I just folded the paper in half and worked on the half. A and half. then when you know when you cut a pattern and it's folded in half, you open it out, it's automatically it's, symmetrical. Okay, exactly. To make life easier. And for then yourself. this one, which we're not going to make today, is more mm. like the, the makings of a uh, what do you call it? Shades purse or a glasses purse. <laughs> but they're called shades, aren't they? 
Well, maybe where you live. <laughs> I don't get well, wearing my shades. What do you say? Sunglasses. <laughs> OK. Wear my shades. <laughs> I might do if I was having cocktail mimosa at the Beverly Hills Hotel, I might say shades. Or OK. As if I'm likely to be. So we're making this one, right? Yeah. So it's got a box bottom. Yeah. And it's got that really, really lovely, cute shape to it. And it's got lots of space in it to put... If you want an evening bag to put your mm. goodies in and everything, then yeah. you've got a lovely little clutch purse, haven't you, to take out mm. with you in the evening. Right. Yeah. I just thought that shape lent itself to then flaring the pattern yes. out. So now, you, what you've done is, these are, the, the, these are the silver ones that we've got here. Yeah. You've gone with one of the brass ones. Yeah, with, ones, the, lovely with like sort the lovely sort of... lovely holly berries. Yeah. Or... They look really wintry, don't they? And they go beautifully with this fabric. OK. So, I traced off the top of that bold line. Yeah. Or I traced off the bold line, not the top of it. Yes. I traced the line off. And then I cut a line, and this is where I'm saying it's very similar to flaring a skirt. And then I placed it on some paper and yep. drew around it and ended up with... OK, I'll this. just explain that on, the, on here, right? So, okay. Sorry. So I'll do it on the green background. Oh, it shows see. up better. So this, this here, that there is the top. Yeah. From, from the from design... There, around to there. Don't be moving it out of shot now, Jenny. Right? That's half of the top of the clasp, right? Then what Jennifer's done, and then drawn a shape with mm. the box bottom. But then what she's done is, like you would do on a pattern, if you want more fullness at the hem, but not at the top. So you don't cut right to the top here. You just splay your pattern slightly like that to how much you want extra. Remember, it's only half of one side, because that's on a fold there. So you literally splay that out to then create... Oops that shape so that's your finished shape in the half but because you've drawn it on the fold on the paper you then open it out and that is your complete pattern piece for for one side of the purse yes right. and then i added a centimeter seam allowance all the way around okay oh because of oh, course because there's no there would be no seam allowance no. drawing around that there is no, no seam I, allowance. similar to when i do a skirt or anything else like that i start without seam allowance and then when i'm happy like when i've flared that out yes. and drawn around it I then add my seam allowance okay. and I've got the centre line because that will be useful and also these notches are very, very useful. And where have you marked those notches from? What, 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 where are they taken I've from? I've stopped at the bold line but I know that there are many different ways to do this. So, so that, not, that line there you've drawn there is the end of the bold it line is. and that line there seems to be the one that un, would be underneath the clasp. Yeah. 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 Not clasp, uh, 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 hinge, 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 yeah. hinge. Right. OK, so you've got your pattern piece there, so that yes. can go to one side. So just um, treat that as your starting point and then yes. get as creative as you like with the rest of it. OK. And then I've cut two linings and the outer and the inner are the same pattern. So you're using the sea green bundle there, aren't you? Yes. And you've used the, the dove white sea green and the uh, red, true red linear fabric. Yes. Yeah. OK. And I've interfaced oh, the outer to make... These were all interfaced. Give it more structure. So you only interface the outside fabric? Could do both, but I chose, chose to leave the lining as it was and interface the I'd, outer. I'd do the same as you. I'd only interface the outside mm. one and leave the lining. It felt off. right, yeah. Interfacing? 295. What are you pointing at, Jane? No thanks. No thanks, I'm fine. Thank you. And then I've cut off a centimetre of interfacing. Oh, OK, so it doesn't edge. go into your seam allowance. Yeah, because this will go into the top of the purse here. OK, so it's only on the top edge you've so taken I've that So I've kept it everywhere else and then I just trimmed a centimetre off right, on okay. both sides. And okay. I'm going to sew now from right. there down. Can you explain how you've done your boxed bottom? I can, Because, yes. because a, a, a lot of people wouldn't do that. They, they carry the pattern on and, and then, then when they squidge it when it's later. Yeah. But this just saves a little bit of fat time and fabric. Same end it? result, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I just decided I wanted to get an idea of what it would look like. And when you're pattern cutting, you can often sort of fold the paper and get a, an idea of how it would look. Yes. So I did that and I thought, am I happy with that? Yes, I am. So if you wanted a deeper base, yeah. which bit, you make both of those lines yeah. bigger. They need to be the same amount. So that's 1.5 that way, 1.5 that way. Yeah. yeah. So if you wanted a, a, a purse, I'll take this one for example, if you mm. wanted that purse with more of a width at the bottom so it would stand up more, mm. you'd just make that line and that line, exactly. obviously both the same, but make them bigger. Further in this yeah. way, so the box is bigger. Yeah. yeah. OK. Exactly. So I'm going to sew on both of them from their 
down along. I'm going to leave a little space in the lining. In the lining, but do you leave the space in the main fabric as well? Uh, no. No, okay. And I'm going to reduce my stitch length because this area where I'm starting, where the notch is, yeah. it's important for that to be nice and secure. Okay. So I'm going to reduce my stitch length right. down. When you say reduce your stitch length, what length do you go to? Because, um, I only ask because mm. that machine, automatic, the normal stitch length is two and a half on that machine. Yes. But somebody messaged in yesterday saying, my machine goes to 1.9 as the default one. Does it? So That's we say shorten your stitch length and she didn't know whether she should go shorter than 1.9 or and whether Lucy was going... 1.9 is short, isn't it? Yes, and Lucy was going down to 1.9. So we were yeah. just... So what's, when you I've say shorter... I've taken it down to two. To two. OK, Just because go. I so want... So on something like on a Benina, a two would be a normal... would be your normal stitch length. Uh, while you're stitching around there, we've got a picture from... Julie. Oh, she's obviously got the purse class before, look. Oh, how lovely. She said that that's when we did them in the tilde... Um, Aren't they beautiful? Or was it called autumn? No, it's not autumn. It's not oh, autumn. Really lovely. She's mixed. She's mixed all her till. Oh yes, because there's there's cottage. Um, not cottage. Yeah, cottage up there as well. Harvest, harvest. The ones at the top are harvest. But she said it's very addictive. Once you've made one, you want to carry on and make more. Yeah, I bet. Anyway, brilliant. She um, made hers for like a craft fair. They look beautifully styled mm. there as mm. well, don't they? Yeah. Oh yes. OK, so you're saying right, right round the edge from the... Um, from the top notch. Second notch or the top notch. Yeah, just, right one, the way just one notch yeah. there. And I reverse at the end and then go straight onto the other seam. Right. But you don't stitch round, you don't stitch round the box bottom at this point. You no. leave the box bottom open at this point. At the moment, yes. Also, because you have you got interfacing on both of those, you have. I have, yeah. Yeah, just not round that top arced yeah. area. <laughs> you're right there. I am, the yeah. Way. Yeah. <laughs> you're not pressing the automatic cut button. No, I was pressing the Lots of other button. buttons. So I'll do the same on here. And then but this I'll... is the one you're leaving the gap in the bottom. I am, just a little, through. probably about that much, I think. About um, five, six centimetres, something like that. Okay. Five or six centimetres. Approximately. No, all right. It's not, yeah, fine, it's just, it was on locking stitch. That's fine. So it's just going up and down, up and down, up and down, not moving. Better that it's more secure than yeah. not, though, if anything. If we had to have a choice about it, I'd go for more secure. Oh, Julie, that we just showed our pictures. Morning, Bo. Thank you for the recognition, Jennifer. It means a lot coming from you. Lots of love. Oh, gosh. There, see? I thought they were amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Well, there you go, Julie. So many That's highly... That's Julie Greater London. Hmm? Highly creative people out there, aren't yeah. they? Making gorgeous things. Well, especially in Greater London. Oh, that's nice. I think it's, at this day and age, it's so easy to only message people when you want to complain or, or you know what I mean? It's so easy if you're unhappy with some service, it's so easy just to send in a message and, oh, I'm not happy with this, I'm not... But when it's, you've had good service you don't, or, or somebody's been nice, it's, it's very difficult to then... Not difficult, but it's like, oh, I can't be bothered, you know. I'm a great just, believer in telling people when they've done something good. Well, yeah, the trouble is, one of our big... One of our big bosses came in yesterday and he was very, very um, complimentary towards me. And I was like, oh, sharp, bless. And everyone was like, oh, sharp. But it's only because sometimes I find it difficult sometimes accepting compliments, you know what I mean? So mm. you then joke about it, don't you? Right? Yeah. But I was actually very, very chuffed by what he said, Good. you know what I mean? But you kind of, kind of go, oh, sharp. <laughs> you know? Right, box bottom? Yes. So I'm just going to finger press those seams open. And it's exactly the same end result as the method you described yes. where you'd have a point on there that then gets cut yes, off. Yes, but you might as well not bother because you know this way because your pattern pieces are exact. Because yeah. when you do that other way, mm. you don't know if you're going to get each side exactly the same, whereas this way you know both sides are going to be exactly the same. I think the, the little set square is very useful for that. Whoops. Oh. Flinging pins around. Um, you know, if you lose it, you have to pay for it. OK. Yeah. I'll try and find it after then. Yeah, I would. Where did it go? <laughs> I'll use that magnet. Yes. I'll probably find lots of others while I'm there. 
Or you find all Jay's rubbish underneath here. Yeah. So I'm doing the same on both sides, just finger pressing them open. So you've, you've pressed, you've pressed your seams open? Yeah. So they're nice and flat. And I'll yeah. do the same. I'll pin them all and then I'll sew them all. Oh, I can see that pin now. You haven't lost it. Oh, I dropped it there. Okay. And I'm putting a pin through and just matching so that they look nice and centred. Yeah. And then I'll do the same on this one. And these will be slightly crisper to finger press because they've been in interfaced. Yes. Would you, would you, I know you finger press them, would you ever iron it in real life? Would you iron it? Hmm. Or was the finger pressing? Yeah. I think a bit like dressmaking. I tend to do lots of sewing and pressing and yes. sewing and pressing. Uh, I don't... Yesterday when we had the ham and the um, sausage roll, sleeve roll, um, Kaz messaging saying she does a lot of bag making. She uses the ham and the sleeve roll all the time. Yeah, for the, the, I can the imagine. Court. Because obviously it's very difficult to get to some of those little bits with your iron. Yeah, isn't it? and a little iron as well. Yeah, the iron, the adapter. Really good. Forty nine ninety five on the website. Okay, so I've pinned through mm -hmm. all of those and I'll sew across all four corners. Okay. Then we can start sewing the top and then hand stitch it in place. Okay, it's not whizzing through. loads of time and the other thing about doing the box corners this way yes. is that I reverse to either end so I know some people when they do the trimming off and you've got a, tri a triangle that you've trimmed off then zigzag over that seam especially when with bags that you're going to use a lot yes you can end up with a, a seam that comes undone yes. can't you yeah. whereas with this I know I reversed at that end there yes so there's no real need for me to neaten the seam allowance Chain nailing. Yes. I'm chain piecing. Chain nailing. Uh, over to the last one. Mm-hmm. definitely take my pins out when I've reduced this I mean I always do anyway but when I've reduced a stitch length because there's much more likelihood of it hitting a pin yes exactly when the stitches are that short okay so we've got our lining with a gap in the bottom and our outer with some threads that need to be snipped off mm -hmm. and then I'm going to snip into that notch a little bit more. Okay. Just so it's close to the stitching, but not right up yeah. to it, certainly not through it. Just mm. sorry, I'm just going to do the other one up. while it's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, just to so there. So just where the notch was, you just stitch right down, not to the stitching, but as close as to the stitching there. And the same on Jeanette, there. good morning, everybody. Jeanette from Jeanette. I'm new to the channel. Hello, Jeanette. Where have you been? We've been here since January. And I have to say, it's brilliant. I'm addicted. Waiting for my first order to arrive. Love, Jeanette. Oh, Jeanette. In Lincolnshire. Do you know, Jeanette, I grew up in Louth and I did a very big wedding in Metheringham a few years ago. Anyway, thank you. Welcome, Jeanette. Welcome, welcome, welcome mm -hmm. to the Sound Quarter family. OK. So now I can bag that one out. Love this print. Yes. Seagreed, that one's called. It's oh. the newest range from Tilda. Cottage range. Uh, cottage? Yeah, cottage range. This uh, bundle is uh, there, £26.49. pence. You get two and a half metres of fabric. You get two sea greens. You get the one on the dove and the red. And then you get real red linear and then a pink and a grey. Oh, there it is. You can see it there. Half a metre of each. That, the two fabrics at the end are exactly the same print. The sea green print, right? But because, no, it, when I launched it, I kept those separate and then suddenly realised they're the same print, but one's just red and white and then one's got a dove, they call it dove grey background, it's actually a cream background, but then got all the colours from the collection in it. It makes it look very different, doesn't it? So I'm going to put one inside the other, right sides together. Right sides together. Does it matter if you put the inside, does it matter which way around you do it? No. As long as the right sides as are together. As long as they're right sides together. Yep. 
and then I'm going to sew from that notch over this top arced edge. Right. Right sides together oh, on and both got, of you've, them. You've actually got a line to follow because you've cut your interfacing off, haven't you? So you're stitching yeah. just this side of the interfacing, aren't mm. you? Yes. So making sure that those are out of the way and that's my starting position. So I want to start where the previous stitching yes. finished. And just actually it'd be easier to work that way around, wouldn't it? Pop that pin on the other side. What's it? It would. <laughs> Is that what you were thinking? No. No, I wasn't. Don't think I'm always criticising you. I don't. We'll get letters. I don't. This <laughs> is just the reason. I don't think I'm always thinking Would either. It? Sometimes I could just zone out and just be like, oh. <laughs> and there's actually nothing happening. There's no electricity going between. <laughs> yes, it's just like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> okay. Thank you yes, for that, Hannah. Sometimes when somebody's watching you do something, they're kind of going, in three seconds, she'll go, that would be better the other way around. Oh, no, never. Me? I'd go, if I was doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And because they've both been cut identically, they're just going to fit together. Yes. So where we start, I just want to make sure everything else is out of the way. Yes. So, I'm just going to so now when you stitch it, mm -hmm. would you go around both arcs or would you do one arc and stop and then do the other arc? Because of the way I've cut the pattern, I'm doing them separately. Right. But there are other ways. No, no, I, that's how I that do it. Yeah, that's you how can make it. the patterns for these same clasps that involve just sewing all the way around yeah, the top. Yeah. But I haven't done it on this no. particular pattern. But yes, that is probably slightly simpler and another way of doing it. So you start, you start at, the, where, at the notch, as it were, but you've got yes. to start exactly where yes. the other stitches finish, haven't you? That's right. And now somebody's asked about the blue bundle. Oh yeah, the blue bundle's gorgeous. The blue bundle's got Minerva in it. It's got leaf berry. I'll show you it on still. I'm not going to go anywhere. My legs are tired now. Um, you get the Minerva, you get the leaf berry, you get antique pink, antique blue, and vanilla. Oh, sorry. What's the matter? Oh, yes, they're wrong, they're wrong, they're wrong graphics, wrong graphics, wrong graphics. It's still there. Oh, there you go. There you go. £26.49 for two and a half metres. I love that Minerva, it's gorgeous. See the big flower on there? But I love really, that really there. nice. I love that colour combination. Yes. They're some of my favourite colours in there. You'd love, I, you'd love that. I don't know if you've seen the whole, this new Tilda range, it's a brand new range. It's just beautiful. Oh, oh Leslie, my love, uh, you sent <laughs> in a message saying, I'm sending in a picture and there's no picture attached. Oh, so what's happened? Oh, OK. Uh, yeah, to email a picture, I can't show you the, the screen. Studio at sewingquarters.com. Studio at sewingquarters.com. Oh, you can do it. Oh, OK. Thank you. So, um, who was it who said, said the message in? It was, there was no phone. <laughs> Leslie, my love, Leslie. There's no picture attached. Is this, is this Lisa from Manchester? Doing a demo with someone who can sew must be like driving with a police officer driving behind you. <laughs> you become conscious of every move. Oh, I don't make you feel like that, do I? <laughs> no, but it's a brilliant description. No, it is. <laughs> it no, is a brilliant... Because I, I could be driving on the road quite um, legally. <laughs> I love that. And if a couple's up there, I mean, start going, mirror, signal, yeah. do, do, and I start uh, uh, putting my brake on too Ten often. to two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> holding on, yeah, holding on like that and everything. Um, Oh, that's a brilliant description. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the show this way around then. Just let me know when you finish that bit. <laughs> OK, so uh, do you approve of this? Is it all right? Oh, I can't see without my glasses <laughs> on. That's what you're saying. <laughs> OK, so I sewed from notch to notch. Yeah, can, we just, can I just show them that? Sewing those top, so, ed top edges together. Uh, notch to notch. So now it's stitched all the way around here. Across the top there as well. But remember, the lining has got the, the bagging through uh, gap in it. Mm. Right, OK? Yes. So I'm going to reduce these and clip them because we want that to be a nice curve that fits right. into the clasp. Yeah. 
And how far down are you reducing it? I think I'll trim it in half. So it ends up being more like five millimetres, which yeah. is about an eighth of an inch. And clip it as well. Christine said, do you sell Dor Derek the Dobber? <laughs> 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 and she said, then she says, John, I can't concentrate for thinking about you dressed in plastic. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a Halloween picture to see. <laughs> I'll find the pictures, Christine. I've got them somewhere at home in boxes somewhere. I'm not putting them on the Facebook page. <laughs> I've got the most the carrot and I've got the, the other. In fact, there's a picture of me. We all met in the theatre. I was working at Mercury Theatre in Culture at the time. There's a picture of me walking on the corridor towards the bar like this, with my hands in my pocket like that in the C3 Max. And in those days, it shows how long ago. It must have been over 30... Uh, been a long time ago. Well, no, no. Because <laughs> I gave up smoking 30 years ago, you see, and I kept my cigarettes and my lighter in the pocket all night <laughs> at the time I was smoking. Anyway, that's another story. <laughs> And I'm just doing some little clips. Yeah, sorry. Look, will, concentrate on the clips, please. Which will make that much easier to put into the clasp. Yeah, brilliant. If you don't clip corners, they tend to look rather angular, don't they? Rather than curved. Probably about every centimetre or so. Yeah. Would you always notch it then and not just snip it? Yeah, because that is going into that area, so I want to actually take fabric out. Somebody's asked about the scissors you're um, using. They're the rose gold coloured scissors. Now, loads of people have got this. Um, Janice has got them. Uh, Helen's got them, who is Joe Carter's mum, who just doesn't stop making. And it's, is it one of Joe's top tips, tools? Did you do a top tip tool to film? I did. Have we seen that one yet? They only started going out yesterday, I think, or the oh. day before. So then I'm going to bag it out through. Oh, the reason you're not on today mm. is because they don't play them on the day that you're in. Mm. So. Do you want me to take the iron out? Or would you, mm. you just, yes, I'll yes, get the iron out. Yes, it definitely needs to be um, I love your demos, Jennifer, and well done on getting your Burda teaching certificate. Thank you very much, Lisa. How does she know what you're doing? Have you put that on social media somewhere? Yeah. What is it? It is, so I did a show with Natasha that kind of reminded me of how much I had loved working with Birda patterns since I was right. a whippersnapper. And then I saw an advert for the Birda teaching certificate. So it's, um, you have five assignments and it's demonstrating that you can teach sewing the Birda style way. And you do it? Is it like Open University or do you have to go into a classroom and oh, do All it? done from the comfort of your own home. But how do they know? Because you, be, you might be... Lots of photographs. You have of to, you talking? No, you have to submit... Ex you um, have to complete oh. the assignment the way it's set out and then send close-ups. And with digital photography now, you can of really see no, the stitching. I thought it, so it's not just about presenting it in front of a class. No. It's actually... Uh, the, the no, it's you can about... Because some people, some <clears> of the best teachers aren't always the best... That's very true. You, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's you at all, but do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like... So, some teachers can know everything they know about a subject but can't actually pass it on to anyone. Absolutely so, right. So it's kind of like you need to know how to do it but also how to... Yeah. Have I walked over here too soon? No, I'm just rolling, I'm rolling it and then I'm going to press it. So I sewed them both right sides together okay. and then I've got that. Brilliant. And we want that to be a nice crisp finish. Yeah, lovely. They look great together, don't, don't they? Don't they? Um, Love did, you, uh, did you watch the David Attenborough? I've never watched the David Attenborough Deep Blue. Oh. I haven't watched all of it yet. But I started watching it on Sunday night. It's just... Isn't it incredible? I mean, unbelievable. How have they found all those fishies? And, uh, anyway, Leslie sent in a picture. Uh, remind me of a big open mouth, that's why. Uh, Leslie sent in a picture. Oh, the uh, purse very similar to one you're making, look. Ooh. Now, oh, is that the... Oh, look, we're on the telly in the background. Is that a cave facet cabbage? It is, that is the cave facet cabbage. It's lovely, isn't mm. it? Right, hang on, don't, don't take the picture off. Let's have a look. Are they candles in a heart shape on the windowsill? <laughs> or is that porcelain? Are you scrutinising the room? No, I love looking at people's rooms. <laughs> Got a lovely... Oh, look at all the gardens. Gorgeous, isn't mm. it? I can see a cypress tree in the background there, I think. Is that what it is? I think so. How lovely. <laughs> Ogling the garden. I know, I love, I love it when people, because I can go, oh, you need that to read it. And Carol sent a message in and she took a picture of something in her garden. I was like, oh, blimey, you need to cut your lawn, Carol. <laughs> anyway, thank you for that, <clears> Leslie. <throat> it's lovely. What do you use it for? Where do you take it? 
What do you put in it? So I'm just rolling that edge. That was very scouse. Was it? <laughs> yes, rolling. Rolling that edge. Uh, Karen, I love this channel, especially when... It's, oh, you're too kind. I shouldn't read, especially you, John. I think you should write a book of your life story adventures. I'd buy it. Karen, I will do one day, but I'll have to go into hiding <laughs> once I've written it because I know some very um, salacious secrets, I tell Ooh. you. I don't know any about Jennifer, don't worry. <laughs> but an email. Ethne, from Ethne. Brilliant top tips uh, from Jennifer. Loving the show. Thank you. Oh, how nice. Thank you, Ethne, my love. Thank you. Right, OK, so you've got your top edge. Yes. All neatly pressed there. Yes. Hang on, we're just coming to it. There you go. See, that's why it made me think of David Attenborough, of the fish going along, eating yeah. all the other fishes. I know, they're brilliant. <laughs> anyway, carry on. So... I'm going, because I don't want to sew that in and it shifts slightly, yeah. I'm just going to fold it that way and use the fabric marking pen to mark that central point. Oh, OK. And make sure that that stays where central, I want yeah. it to. Because yeah. this bit is quite fiddly, isn't it? It is, yes, in a fun way. Yes, but, I mean, so it's, it's not a job that you're going to sit down and think, oh, I'll do that in ten minutes. Because, you know, some jobs think, oh, I can do that really quickly. This is something, attaching the class to the bag you do have to put some time to one side and don't be stressed no so that's going to go into there and there's a little gap a little gap there where the fabric is going to slot oh, hang on. Yep. in there so the fabric's going to go like inside that groove there shark skeleton a pardon you know the shark skeleton. Oh yes. You get the jawline. Yes. My, for some reason, my, when my dad he used to work in, the, in um, the Persian Gulf, and he came back with all these presents for us, and like my brother's got like stereos and things like that, and I got a shark's jaw with teeth in it. <laughs> Great. And it stank of fish, and they knew Ooh. I didn't eat fish. Anyway, it stayed in the garage for years and years and years. So I'm going now the class. I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't gone through them, have I? The class that Jennifer's using is from the antique one. I've got a picture. I've got a picture of it. Haven't Oh, no, have we not? Before, just before you do anything else, I'll just show which kit it's from. There you go. So you get the five, the five clasps in that kit, £28 and 49 pence. And then the other ones, the silver ones, you get four of those for 17 99 Right, OK. So I'm, I'm lining up the marker. Yes. And pushing that into there, into the gap. Is there a central hole, then? You work out yeah, which I is the central that. hole. It doesn't apply to all of them. Some right. of the holes are offset. Oh, OK. So I checked that with each one, and yeah. I can see that that's kind of the middle of those two. So if they're offset, on the other would, you, would you set it with the middle of the clasp then, the yes. actual um, handle on the yeah, clasp? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, yeah, so it is fiddly, but that just needs to go in see, there. See, I'd be rubbish at this. Would you? Um, my, yes, with my big fat sausage fingers, and they get really hot and sweaty, and then if I'm getting stressed, they get even worse, then I start shaking all over the place. Oh, no, use Wonder Clips. Mm. Yeah. And because I flared it slightly, the angle... <laughs> I do use Wonder Clips, yeah. Um, the... Have you done this before? Yeah. <laughs> Does it show? <laughs> don't start answering back. <laughs> oh, they all change, don't they? They all start off so nice and sweet and everything. So would it work if you had... I don't know if we've got the... Have we got the bigger ones? No, they'd be too big, the big super mm, wonder clips. It's kind they? of a quite a small space to work in, which is lovely if you like doing that kind of sewing. Yeah, I don't. But it does require patience and dexterity. Yeah. So I think once I've got those two in place, yeah. I will just start the sewing because I can hold that. But you only do <clears throat> one side, don't you? Sorry, don't try and clasp that side and that side. No, at the I'm same just going to deal with one while yeah. while it's. Oh, there. so are you using embro embroidery thread to do that? With I you? am, yes, and I haven't split it as I would if I was doing embroidery. Uh, the thickness is so lovely as all six strands. So you don't you don't you don't strip it down because on no. sometimes you strip it down, don't you, into yeah. strands? Yeah, I'm not doing so this time. Floss kit here, you get 800 metres of it. Fantastic colours. Beautiful colours, look. £14.95. Okay. So I want this to be really neat. Right. <laughs> so if so there is a tiny gap, 
Hold it still. Do you remember where the notches were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and go through there right. with my notch. Oh, so you I've can't bring it. I've knotted the yes, end. Yeah. yeah. And then do... Can I? Oh, no, is it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Perfect. Okay. And I'm just going to bring that through. Have you got a knot on? Yes, knot on the end. I have. Yeah. And then I'll push the knot inside. Right. The bag. Yeah. Purse. And then just do a little over and over stitch to secure. So because if you think of the tension that undergoes. Yes. Oh yes. You want it to be nice and um, safe and secure and not fall apart when you've used it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go. You have to go in a slight angle with this. Right. In through the back and out through the hole. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. In through there. Whilst making sure that your fabric is pushed. As far up into as possible, that gap. yes. So it ends up, your stitching is probably about three, four millimetres from that top edge, yes. this top edge here that I've pressed. I think what I'd have to do, mm -hmm. this, is just, this is just me now, is I'd have to tack yeah. it on first, using a normal thread, yeah. one every fourth hole. Or, That's or a just, great, or great even, idea. Or even just do a thing and knot it off so that yeah. I knew that each... You could do it's that. It's going to be more time consuming. Way, couldn't you? Yes, but and then just so you could it. just whap it round because then you can cut it off afterwards. Yeah. But then, because I know that if I was, I'd be getting so frustrated at this point because I'm not good. At, if you think of these big fat hands trying to hold onto that tiny, I'm not good like that. So if I tacked and or done a whip stitch around the clasp every so often, it's a really good then idea. you could do your lovely embroidery thread. No, it's all yeah. in place, yeah. and then cut off all the like the tacking stitches, as it were. Yeah, I might do that next time. Right. So I've gone up and then down, and I'm going to miss one, and then okay. my next so stitch is going to be Hang there. On, oh, there you go. And See the you. reason is that I'm going to sort of straight sti running stitch yes. all the way along, and then all the way back. Oh, that's why you miss to one To fill out. them in. Yes. Yes. So I'm going in with the needle at a slight angle, making sure the fabric is. There's a lot to keep your eye on. Yes. The so fabric is pushed in and not come away. Yeah. <laughs> Looped around the berry. Right. And then back. So through. you don't do a back stitch as such, or do you? I did on one, and then I decided I preferred this method. Okay. Um, because it looks nicer inside. Right. Yeah, because if you back you stitch, see, you've got to... Yes. You see the stitches a little bit. Because the inside portion of the metal oh, 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 is oh, oh. there is narrower than... <laughs> uh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Because narrower what, what's than is, that is one. When, when you see Jo do hers with glue, yeah. right, the, 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 the groove <clears throat> is the same, so the groove is like that, so you glue it and you push it up into that, but on this one, this groove in the inside is slightly shorter, so as you sew through, you're going to see a row of stitching on the inside of the... Yeah. Oh, no, that one's different again. Yes. The so, so the different clasps are different, right? They do vary. So this one here, do you mind me showing you the insides? No, that no. was the that, back that's stitch. That's the back stitch one And then one I decided there. it could look better. This, this one's in your silver, but you see how the stitches there are just around there. So that was the back stitched version. I know. So that's what Jennifer class is messy. That would be like my best, that one. But then if you look at this one, this, this one and this one have a different stitching way through because the holes are on both sides. I'll just, I'll just show them one. These are both silver, these are both silver. But if you see here, you've got holes there on the inside and holes there on the outside. So that's slightly a different way, slightly different way of attaching it on that one. So instead of, because on, on this one, you obviously had the, fab, the, the thread going through the holes on the front, but there are no holes on the front of this one. The holes are on the back. So the stitching you see on the front is actually a decorative stitch. And then the one on the back that oh, hang on, decorative stitch. And then the ones on the back there are actually ones going through the holes holding it in place. You right there? I am, yes. It's just... Uh... A methodical, it's a case of checking that hasn't fallen back out of that recess that it yes, goes into and you, you're just grabbing sort of the edge of the two fabrics. I want to make sure that it's properly in there and then take that 
needle in at an angle. So it's um, just a case of checking also that that central line hasn't shifted. Yep. Because you're handling, you know, the which, top which class is why, of the fabric. Which is why I think I would tack it. Mm. So that when you've tacked it the first time, you can make sure yeah. that all of the things are in place. And then, because I'd be so furious if I stitched and then got to the end here and I either didn't have any fabric left or had too much fabric left through the last yeah. hole. No, you're quite right. That's when tacking is it. really, then, really useful, yeah, isn't it? I'm just going in the bin then. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not very good like that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't tack it. I'd give it to Chris next door. And go, oh, Chris, she's good at sewing. Right, what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is I'm going to keep leave you sewing that. Okay. There's no, no rush, no pain, have got plenty of time. I'm going to go and do bundles and show off that handles again, and then I'll come back to you if that's all right. Right, and then maybe by then I'll that be right ready to else? go back the other way. Yes, exactly, exactly. We so, hope. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, when I've got, uh, also, I'll bring this with me as well. Oh, I mean, no, I won't. 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 Oh, but also, who who did you say? Elaine said, have we got any of the other fabrics? Elaine, I have. I have got some of the other fabrics. I have got some of the other fabrics. But let me go through the bundles first, Elaine. So we'll do the handles first, yeah? So the, the antique ones here, you get five of these. I'll take you through each one. Actually, I'll take you through each one quickly. So you get all five of these, remember? So you get this one, which is like a vintage with the little uh, golden balls on the top there. Then you've got this one here, which is more of a kind of copper finish or bronze finish. Then you've got this one here. They've all got a slightly different. Look at that. That's got a different again. And, the, and they've each got the template in of the shape. So you don't need to worry about the shape. Then there's this one. They're all, there's, there's another one of those. And then last but not least, a much, much bigger one. You get all of these, all of these in the kit, £28.95. So that is the uh, antique purse clasp. Okay, we've also got them in silver. And silver, you just get four in the silver. So this is the silver one. So you get uh, one of those large ones there. In fact, you get two large ones. I take that back. Two large ones. But one's in a dark silver, I think, and one's in a bright, shiny silver. Then you've got one of the smaller purse ones. And then you've got the one that you saw Jennifer use, uh, made earlier with the two little love hearts on the 99 pence for all four of those. Okay. Owns a still of those. There you go. Right, bundles. Um, shall I go with the one that Jennifer's working with at the moment? This is the first one here. This one's called Seagreed. You get half a metre of the red Seagreed, half a metre of the dove grey Seagreed, half a metre of the true red linear, and then half a metre of the grey and half a metre of the... I want to call it Carnival, and it's not, is it? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It'll come with me. Nah, it's gone. What's it called, Michael? Calypso. Candy floss. I knew it was a cuss on. Okay, £26.49, two and a half metres of fabric. That's the one that Jennifer's using. The one Jennifer did use for the other samples is this one, which is the blue one. So you get half a metre of the leaf berry, berry leaf. Oh, yeah, the graphics will move in a second. I'm sorry, there's something wrong with the computer. It's Halloween, you see, that's what it is. So you get half... So how much is this one? Because the graph, that's not the graphic for this one. The graphics have jammed. I'm ever so sorry, but the graphics... graphics. Oh, a Jaffa cake. Oh... Oh, it's the same price, same price, but it's the blue one. It's the blue one, right? So this is the uh, leaf berry in the blue. There you go, it's gone now. Then you've got this one, which is gorgeous, the Minerva, half a metre of the Minerva. Then you've got half a metre of antique blue, half a metre of uh, vintage blue, half a metre of vintage pink, half a metre of vanilla. £26.49. and pence. That's a gorgeous bundle, isn't it? Even if you're not going to make the purses, because we're selling these separately to the purse clasps. So um, even if you think, oh, I just like that as a bundle. OK. Got sage. Sage, leaf berry in the sage. Sage is... Th now, isn't that funny? We haven't even used sage, and yet it's the most popular one. Leaf berry, 
Firework. Firework. Uh, mauve, spot on. Pistachio green and mauve mist in the spectrum. Oh, that's my hand up there. I was like, what's that on the table? Halloween. Um, 26 99 that one. £26.99, and pence, that one. And then we've also got the... Um, is it plum? Plum. So we've got the leaf berry in the plum. We've got the mini in the plum, half a metre. Then you've got the spot on grey, the spot on deep orchid, and the spot... Uh, and the, and the, no, sorry, sorry. Spot on grey, plain deep, deep orchid, plain grey. £26. And 99 pence for that bundle. Right, now, um, uh, Elaine, my love, I have got other fabrics, but because the graphics are playing up a little bit, I might show you and tell you the names of them. Then if you go to the website, you'll be able to see the pictures. You'll be able to see the pictures of them on the website. Psst. Right, that's not one of... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. They're not the... I'm only going to show the new range. I'm not showing the old range. Right. I'm only showing you the new range, right? This, we won't, there will be no graphics. There'll be no graphics, but they're all, aren't they all 7 95 for half a metre? They're all 7 95 This is sea green blue. You see what I mean? That's the same as that other fabric, but it's only the blue and the pale blue in that one. So that one's sea green blue. Then I've got Minerva in red. That's the Minerva in the red. It's very vintage, isn't it, the Minerva one? I love it. I love... Wait, I wonder if I've got my favourite Minerva one. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Then there's Minerva in blue. So these are all... Shush, Jay. These are all £7.95 for half a metre. You can go to the website and look at them um, um, after the show, and they will be there. They will be there. They won't be in, they won't be in the um, deal, the deal which I'll tell you about. Now, Mini. Mini in red. Is that one? I've got Mini in blue coming up as well. Right, this is Mini in blue. Beautiful, isn't it? Then I've got Firework in plum and red, I think this one's called, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we're just calling it in the red, but it comes in the plum range. That's what it is. That's firework in red. Then I've got the um, secret in the... Uh, uh, that one. I think it's... It, oh, is that one called plum? I've been calling that one dove white all day. I think that's the dove white. But it'll be on the website, be on the website. Now, these, these are gorgeous. Come in three different colourways. Uh, this is called Tropicana, is it not? Botanical, botanical. Comes in three different colourways, the blue, the pink and the sage. Oh, honestly. Does that make you happy, Timothy? Right, let's go back to Jennifer. Um, I, I'm only doing this because the graphics are playing up and we can't show you any graphics, but it will be on the website in a second. How long have I got, then? Oh, OK, then, that's fine. Right. Sorry, and is the menu ready? I'm sewing back through the ones that I left. Yeah. Like this. Oh, so you've gone all the way around once and now you're working your way back. And then back the other way. Yeah. And on the inside, you can see the stitching slightly appears. Yeah, you can't really, though, because it's just mm. literally inside that groove there. So mm. it isn't, it's not obvious, is it? It's not no. an obvious line of stitching. No, I'm just... But it, you've got to remember that if you do use a contrast colour, mm. like you've got the red lining in there, but if you had a cream lining or something like that, then you yeah. are going to see that stitching And the blue through. on the cream shows up there, doesn't yeah. it? Which is fine. Mm. Yeah, it can be a feature. Exactly. I'm just uh, aware when I go through the hole that I try to make it as tidy as I can when as it comes through to the, the, the other the side. As close to the can, yeah. Because you could easily just go through that at an angle and come out in a completely different place. Yes. So I'm going through the hole in the clasp and trying to match it to where my last straight stitch Also, went. if you were doing this in real life, you'd be sitting down, wouldn't you? We wouldn't expect you to stand up and stitch Probably it. Probably be in the garden. In yeah. the garden? I like hand sewing in the garden. In the rain? 
No. In the fog and the snow. Well, we had some lovely sunny days recently. Yeah, not today. Well, I don't know what is it doing today, actually. I don't know. No, yesterday was beautiful. Driving home yesterday, you had to be in the sun to be warm. If you were out yeah. in the sun, it was freezing. Such glorious colours around at the moment. Right. So then you would get to the end, and similar to the way I started off, yeah. I would want to fasten that off so it's secure, but not particularly on show. Yes. And it starts to take shape, and you can see where we've got that flare that we added in. Yes. So you've done all of this side before you even attempt to do all of the and other side. And then I'd re yeah, repeat yeah. what I did there yeah. on the other side and close up that little gap by hand with oh, a yes, slip inside, stitch. Yeah. Oh, yes, because I noticed you hadn't done this one. This one here. This is the, the police car behind you scenario. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, only because I was showing the inside earlier and I thought, oh, I won't show the bottom line because she hasn't finished stitching that bit there. Uh, I'm sorry we can't read any messages. Out. Oh, actually, they're working now. The graphic graphics are working again now. OK, we can't change them easily. So that's the class for the antique, not the silver ones, but the ones that uh, Jennifer's using there. And um, we're having um, issues again. We'll have to get that sorted. Mind you, I'm not in for a couple of days, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, it does, really. Um, OK, we're just... We're, uh, let's do the Halloween spend and save, because I'm going to run out of time in a minute. This is only if you buy on the web. It can't be anything that's been on the telly. It's not anything electrical. It's nothing in the sale and it's not kits. But if you spend £35, you get 15% off. Spend £50, you get 25% off. Spend £60, you get 30... So if you spend £100, you get 35% off. Now, what it is, is uh, buy your West Dilly rulers, buy your creative grid rulers, buy your fabrics, buy anything like that. Because as long as you spend over those prices, you will get that discount. It's only till midnight tomorrow night. It's today, at today and tomorrow... I'll start again. Today and tomorrow until 11.59 tomorrow night. Right, tomorrow's menu. So what, what's the hours then? Tell me what the hours are. Beautiful bags. First one. She's not a beautiful bag. I'm just pointing. It's you again, again tomorrow. <laughs> beautiful bag. Uh, then I've got... No, not me. It's not me tomorrow. Then I've got what? Miss it, miss out at nine o'clock. Are you going? No. Drapey just knit dress. Being tidy. Drapey knit dress. Yes. That sounds nice. That's with Jennifer. And then, oh, and then, oh! <laughs> wow, well, I shouldn't have said that, because if... Um, creative Grids at 11 o'clock. I'll tell that very quickly. Right, thank you ever so much. Thank you. Enjoy tomorrow. Sorry it's been a hassle this morning. Thank you for your company. I'm not back now till... Is it, is it, Friday? I'm back on Friday. I'm back on Friday. I don't know. I think I'm back on Friday. Uh, I'm not in on Saturday. I know that much. Oh, I'm so confused. Anyway, thanks for your company. Thank you, thank Jennifer. You. Uh, thanks for your lovely messages. I'll see you whenever I'm in next. To help you have a crafty Halloween, we've got a frightfully good offer for all of you. Delve into our devilishly tempting online range of fabrics and sewing essentials and save as you spend. The offer is simple. Spend on our online shop and save as you go. Spend £35 online and get 15% off with code SQ15. Spend £50 and get 25% off with code SQ25. And spend £60 online and we'll give you a massive 35% off with code SQ35. So, get ready to expand your stash for less. But hurry, the offer only lasts 48 hours and ends when the clock strikes midnight on the 1st of November.